or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Join us on Jewelry Maker as we count down the days until Christmas. Stay tuned to see perfect Christmas gifts for all your friends and family at prices you won't believe. And what's more, anything you buy can be refunded or exchanged until the 31st of January. So for hassle-free shopping and great value, it has to be Jewelry Maker. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Tune into Jewelry Maker for our Miss It Miss Out show every day between 5 and 9 p.m. on Freeview Channel 50. Don't miss it or you'll miss out. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. It is the designer inspiration showcase that you've tuned into. Love it, have your company, and I'm Vicky, going to be with you for four whole hours. We are live for four whole hours. It's exciting. This is my first, my first one o'clock live four hour gig. And I'm calling it a gig um, <laughs> because it's, it's that kind of a hip show. Yes, award winning show, may I say. Woohoo! Uh -huh. Not do we win one, but eight awards did we win. I know, I think that's pretty special, isn't it? We're West award winning channel that you're tuning into, which is an absolute honour to sit here and, and introduce to you some amazing opportunities and some designer inspiration. And the lady who's going to give you all of that inspiration today is the fantastic Sarah Elvin. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Now then, you're going to inspire us twice, not just once, but twice over I today. I know, I know. You're going to get so much inspiration, hopefully, from um, the first. Um, demonstrations we're going to do are all about braiding, knotting um, and some macrame techniques and some Chinese knotting. There's all sorts of various different things going on in there. And then the second one is all about Kumihima and two brand new braids you guys haven't seen as far as I'm aware on screen by me any other time. Ooh. Ooh. Shall we call it an exclusive yes. designer inspiration then? I don't then. think anyone else has done them either but I might be wrong because I don't get to see every single piece of jewellery ever made on Jewellery Maker, but I don't think anybody else has done them either. We've got the X Factor. It's the exclusive factor today. <laughs> see what I did there? Did you see what I did then? I was like, oh, look, I've been away, and I know you've missed my sharp puns <laughs> just like that. We've got X Factor, that's exclusive designer inspiration for you today. And we've got lots of treats to fit in, lots and lots of deals to be had, because it's not just about giving you the inspiration via Sarah but it's also about giving you the opportunities to create amazing jewelry with ingredients that will inspire you and ingredients like mm. this now have a listen what does it sound like to you you're right sterling silver that's exactly what it is and we are starting our designer inspiration showcase with a star by deal just check out these beauties these are some of our most popular aspects of jewelry making detail adding in designer luxuries of spacer beads not just spacer beads but sterling silver spacer beads these are very, very special. Starters you mean to go on, I think, isn't it? And these are gonna be just a tremendous opportunity. All of these on a very special, exclusive price tag. Three for two. <coughs> sorry, sorry, 
Just came out. Just clean my thought. Three for two. I know. So I just keep on. It's just at three for two. Um, very special price tag coming your way. That's going to be your star buy of our designer inspiration showcase. On top of that, well, you, could, you can't have a designer inspiration showcase if you don't have some kind of designer inspiration. Therefore, let's let's just let's just kick straight in to this magnificent inspiration. Your star buy is coming up very, very soon indeed. Don't miss out on that one. It's sterling silver spacer beads. I know there's a lot of people who have gone, hang on a minute, she's shown me, but she's not giving me the chance. Three for two. Um, coming your way <laughs> later on in the show. In the meantime, how about this? Let's get started with our first designer inspiration offer. And it is a magnificent, eclectic opportunity, a color burst. In fact, the colors that you see behind me is exactly the colors that are reflected perfectly into this bundle. This bundle is everything you need to create the look that Sarah is going to give a step-by-step -step tutorial throughout this hour. So if you want to make the exact look that Sarah has created, then you are going to have to get this bundle. The exact bundle is sitting here for Sarah's creations. And it's not just one, but it's three feature creations that she's going to give a step-by-step -step instructions on. And we're going to start by introducing you some of the fantastic colors that really do bring to life a piece of jewelry from the vibrancy of these amazing coins. And one of the nicest aspects of, of our shell coin is, is that with the larger of the face, the more beautiful pattern and print we get to appreciate. A showcase of oranges and deep purples, lilacs and lime greens, creams and, and golden tones, all reflecting into this pattern and print. Quite an oriental inspired qualities, I think, but definitely 60s. And uh, kind of quite fitting that, that Sarah's creation is called the 60s siren. Um, because this is exactly that, isn't it? It's very much the 60s colors, the 60s vibe. You know, that swirling, almost um, hallucination of colors that you can imagine from the 60s. And these are reflected in the additional strands that you're getting alongside your shell pearl because you're going to get your magnificent, and these are absolute wonders. How about these? We've asked for them and now we've got them. Thank goodness for that. 10 mil plain round amethyst. I mean, we've had amethyst faceted drops, we've had amethyst this and that, but actually quite a lot of people have said, all we want is just the plain rounds, just something that allows us to just really get the very, very best out of the gemstone in very simple terms. And that's the thing about the rounds. They are very versatile, they're incredibly usable, and you'll see that uh, in Sarah's creations that she's gonna take us step by step through within this inspiration hour. You've then got the bright oranges, and I mean, these are neon oranges of your Magna side. Those are six millimeter. We're adding in some more classics and we're adding in pearls as our classic. These are these glorious classic peach pearls. They're Baroque pearls, seven by six millimeter. And we all love a little bit of pearl in our jewelry, don't we? Gads a bit of sophistication and a splash of elegance. And we're gonna keep on splashing right now because we're splashing with some more feature offers. And then Sarah really has gone to town in her inspiration of of working with a variety of different aspects to to jewelry making and that includes these fantastic spacer beads, uh, floral, decorative, sterling silver flower beads. Five of these you're gonna get, sterling silver, as they say, not silver plated, but the real deal, sterling silver. That's five of those we're adding in again. And this is when, of course, the braiding and all of the threading and the knotting comes into play because then you've got your lilac satin cord. That is 10 meters. We're adding in your essentials like your threads and that includes your beading thread and your monofilament. And when finishing it all off with your threat your findings pack and that is 98 pieces of your findings and uh, all together you're getting head pins and eye pins you know the essentials but you're also getting a little bonuses like a meter of chain things like your cord endings which you'll see Sarah works with quite heavily alongside the thread and the cord you know the cord endings really do add that sophisticated finish to your jewelry a professional finish and you're going to get all of this in one book bundle for one price tag and this is all together a price tag that should be closer to 40 pounds should be closer to 40 pounds and you've got this bundle today for just 24 pounds and 95 pence 
That's £24.95. pence. That's all you're going to pay. Should be closer to £40. Pounds. And you've actually got this fun bundle, including the findings, the threads, the cords, sterling silver beads, plus amethyst, one of our most popular gemstones. You've got there the shell. You've got genuine pearls. These are genuine gemstone pearls. And all for £24.95. pence. Now, when you see these ingredients, you might already be inspired. You might already be excited by the creativity of those colours and those textures. Well, the nice thing is, is, is that inspiration perhaps is going to be enhanced and even perhaps developed by what Sarah has given us the chance to create in this next hour. This is your designer section where we are going to give you two top, when we say we, Sarah, is going to give you step by step. I'd hate for me to have an hour to fill of me giving any kind of tutorial. I could probably give you a tutorial of how to talk, but that's about it. Um, we're going to go with Sarah and Sarah, you're going to give us literally a step by step result yeah. to the jewellery that you've been creating. I am indeed. And there's quite a few different techniques going on in, in different pieces and it's it's nice to sort of do, have time to be able to show the techniques from start to finish because quite often we rush through starting a piece or finishing a piece because we don't have time. So we're actually going to get that that lead through. Yes. And for those of you who are watching for the first time, especially if you're watching the, the, this, this time of day because we don't normally have a live show until now mm -hmm. and this is the norm because we're, we're live for 12 hours a day here on Jury Maker now. For those of you who are tuning in to, to the one o'clock show, one of the things that you'll find within this show is we're dedicating the time to giving you step by step, starting, middle and finish to your jewelry making. Because as Sarah's rightly picked up on often is on, on other aspects of our shows, daytime, daytime and morning times, um, often is the case you'll get one part of it, but you don't know how to finish the whole product and the yes. whole result. You're going to get this yes. from the beginning all the way through to the end. And take a look at the jewelry that you're going to be able to create step by step with Sarah today. Just look at that gorgeous, I love that ek, that ripple effect design. It is, and it's, it was just the gemstones. They kind of said, you know, they wanted to flow and they needed that sort of scalloping around those ovals. So it's just absolutely beautiful that I had all the materials to be able to do it. Reminds me of Christmas doilies. Yeah, it is a little bit lacy and a little bit yeah. free. Yeah, and it's got that hard and soft texture. I love that about jewellery when you've got a soft neckline and then you've got, you know, the gemstones give you that little hard texture and then your cord gives you the softness mm -hmm. and the femininity. And that's the thing is, is when you look at this, these pieces, you've got the aspect of the sterling silver, yeah. you've got pearls, you've got shell pearl, you've got, you've got so many different real intense quite dramatic elements coming together yes. and the results breathtaking and the, ma the magic thing is is that you know one piece like this 24 pounds 95 but actually take a look at the other pieces that Sarah's made as well like this bracelet I love this bracelet it's like a little sunset isn't it around those amethysts with the purple cord I love the tightness of the knot mm. And it's easy, easy to achieve, so I'm going to show you how to do that. That's going to be my first little one we're going to show you how to do. Great, let's go for it then. Okay. Let's, let's, get, let's get started because we've got right. lots to fit we in have. this hour. Yes. Um, so to start off that one, the core that holds your amethysts um, and, and your working threads, if you like, is two pieces of beading thread, which I have just folded over into the middle. Don't mm -hmm. cut them, you don't need to. Just fold it over into the middle and I've added a crimp bead just onto the end there and I don't know if you can see you now if I hold that up just a yep. little crimp bead uh, right onto the end and that's going to help my ribbon cord to clasp onto this bit of beading thread so it doesn't slip out of the end of my uh, ribbon and then what I have is I have two pieces of my purple satin cord now I don't measure with a ruler or anything like that okay. I use my arm okay. okay so I normally hold my arm out like that and hold it here and then I just fold it in half and, and do that's it again. around about a meter isn't it when just, you do that just, over, just probably just over a meter right and you do that twice so you need two cut pieces that are yeah there you go roughly that sort of length if you've got longer arms do it slightly shorter but I always do it by just <laughs> just to say, just to say, because we, we are live, if you do have any questions that you'd like to ask Sarah, you know, you see a technique, you mm. see aspects of it, perhaps you want to know about how you measure certain parts of Kumihimo, or, mm. uh, which of course Sarah is, is incredibly talented at, um, and other braiding techniques. If you have any questions to ask Sarah today, then please go ahead. We'll do our very, very best to answer everybody's questions. We can't guarantee we'll get through them all, but we'll do our very, very best. So if you fancy texting in today, uh, standard network charges do apply, but the good news is, it says that all you need to do is just text into 60777. Uh, make sure you start your text with JM Studio. By doing that, it means that we know that you're talking to us and then ask away. Give us your name uh, if you can, because it's always nice to be able to put a, a face to a name or a name to a text. text. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, so text in if you've got any questions for Sarah. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken um, my ribbon core clasp and I've disconnected it because they come connected. So I've just literally taken the, so opened it up and taken um, the little ribbon but uh, the cord bit off. Yes. Um, so I've got two separate pieces. And literally all I've done is put inside my ribbon clasp, if I twist up to camera, I've put in there my two doubled up ends of my thread and also my crimped end of my beading cord. Mm -hmm. And the way I do this at home is a lot of people say, oh, I struggle to get as many cords in there as I can possibly do. So what I do is I push it down with my finger and then I just squeeze gently the two sides together. Can you see they're already starting to come together? Yeah. And what I want it basically is that everything in there to be as far down inside. So if you can get your nails in there or a flat nose plier or whatever you can to get everything as close to the bottom of that ribbon cord ending as you can because that's going to make closing the two sides a lot easier. And what I normally do is just gently start teasing one side the tools over. that Sarah's working with right now, just to let you know, uh, bottom of the screen, the large toolkit is available for £15.95 and it includes all of the tools mm -hmm. that you see Sarah working with du during the, the tutorial. So if you do require any of the tools uh, of the trade, uh, then we always say created by professionals for, for, for a professional look, then those tools are available for £15.95 and from the large toolkit. Okay. So I've got a common problem here that happens when you cut close your ribbon cord endings. Is I haven't quite got it closed properly. Can you see? One end's tighter than the other. Oh, yeah. It's a common not problem. Not, not a happy ribbon ending. No. So just to fix that, all you need to do is literally put it in your flat nose pliers and squeeze that end together just a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. And it'll start to come together. And then you can just squeeze it back down. And you get a much better finish. There you go. Yeah. So that's, if that happens at home, that is just a really easy way of fixing that problem. And it does happen. It's not, it's not the end of the world. We don't have problems. We have happy happenings in jewellery making. <laughs> and to attach this to my um, board that I'm going to be working on, I'm going to be using the macrame board. What I've done is just through, can you see that little hole that the jump ring attaches to? Uh -huh. I've put my beading thread through there. You don't want to put it through the jump ring because if you, if you pull too hard on the jump ring, you'll, you'll pull it open. And if you're going to be pulling a lot of tension on these cords, and that's the best place because it's sealed. It's that, that beading thread's not going to come out, and it's not going to cause any problems um, with the jump ring. Distort it, or pull it, or find the little hole in the jump ring. So all I've done is I've attached that to my macrame board. Just to literally taken my beading thread under, over, and under again, and that will hold that nice and firm. And if you didn't have a bead, a macrame board, uh, clipboard. Anything like that, clipboard bulldog with clips. a bulldog clip. Um, you can even pin it to your trousers if you wanted to with just a safety pin. Whatever works. You can pin, pin it to your trousers. To your trouser leg. If you're wearing jeans, preferably. <laughs> Not leggings or anything like Are that. Are you sharing with us your, your Saturday night? Or? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> okay, so what you'll find is with your... Um, your materials. You've got two threads that will naturally want to go to one side, uh -huh. and two that will naturally want to go to the other side, which is perfect. So I've got two. I've got my beading threads, and, and then two. I've got two. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to thread on my um, amethyst. I love these. They are so lovely. Aren't they? And so nice. Just have the plain rounds. And so big and juicy. Yeah. Oh, they're like big berries. They are like almost <laughs> like juniper, juniper berries. Yeah. Is that or, what they're called? Or, or Blueberry, is it blackberries? Blueberries. blueberries. My, my son loves blueberries. That famous blueberry drink or blackberry drink, you know, the one that the berries used to, to make funny noises on the advert. They used to go, Badoo. do you remember the advert for the juice drink? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Must just be me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've just put four on there. Oh, that drink. That drink. Oh, it's taken me ages. I'm thinking, what drink she on about? That famous one that normally comes in a little carton or yes. used to get it diluted it as a It stains child. on my carpet really quickly. Yeah, that with the got one. it, got it. I look at it every day because <laughs> it's a big patch. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so I've just put my beads on. I've already put four on for now. Okay. Uh, at home, I did seven on there to get the whole bracelet for you. So you would have seven, seven put on? Seven on there, yeah. Okay. Um, and I've just literally put them on. What I'm going to do is slide them back down to the bottom of my thread because I don't need them at the moment. And what I'm going to do to start my bracelet off is just do two standard square knots, okay? So to do that, you create a number four over your center thread. You then take your opposite thread over the tail, under your beading threads and into the hole, the loop you just created. Now, because you're using two lots of threads, it can be a bit tricky to get going. And are you only use, are you just using two threads because it gives more depth to when the When you come round to make the sunshines, you need two threads. You need a knotting thread and a holding thread. 
So you need the That's two That's why we threads. have two. Yes. It's not for the depth of the no, piece of jewelry. It's, it's actually for practicality. It's actually for the knotting purposes. Okay. Without two threads, I wouldn't be able to create those little sunbursts. They do. So I'm going to just quickly do the same on the opposite side. So I'll loop on the opposite side. Again, tails over, under the beading thread, and pulling round. And for those who are watching for the first time, what did you call this square? It's a square knot. Square okay. Knot. Yes. So this is a standard part of macrame. It's a square knot. And okay. a square knot always has two halves. So it has a, a right hand and a left hand version. And we do have uh, the Macrami DVD for anybody who's interested, available for £4.95 on our website. So if you do want to learn a little bit more about Macrami and its basics, yeah. uh, as Sarah's giving us the step by step, you can, uh, you can find that at www.durimaker.com. Okay, so I now have pushed two of my threads out to the left hand side, and we're going to ignore those for a minute. So that's the left hand threads, ignore them. Okay. Middle threads, ignore those. Okay. We're just literally going to work with our two right hand threads. Okay. And what I, what, what I mean by a holding thread is it's the one you're going to tie the knots around. So literally you just hold it in your hand. It's not, this one's not going to tie any knots. This is your holding thread only, this one. Mm -hmm. And the one on the far side is going to be a knotting thread. And we're going to do a knot that's called a half hitch. And what we're going to do to create the half hitch is you come out to the um, right hand side of your thread mm -hmm. and you take it over the one you're holding to create a little cross in your hand, yeah. if you like. Take your finger through and pull the tail through the loop. We're going to do this lots of times so you'll be able to get this nice and steady. Then we're going to pull that up. And what you want to do is you want to make this upward movement. This is going to tighten your knot, OK? My holding thread's not moving. All I'm doing is pulling up the knotting thread. Yeah. Create your loop. Create the loop. OK. Create Form the cross. Form the cross. Ta take your finger through uh -huh. and pull it through the loop. It's a bit like an overhand knot but you're kind of doing it flat on the board. And then you pull that one up. So that's two. Can I have a turn? Of course you can. Hold and take, take okay. the rein. So hold I've got the thread. holding thread. Yep. You don't need to hold I've it I've just tight. pulled it up, yep. so you've just finished. I'm going to take this. Good. I'm going to create a cross. Mm -hmm. I'm then going to go take this bit underneath. Yep. Is that right? Yeah, you're doing everything perfect. This way? Yeah. Pull, pull it, pull it, pull it. And then pull it. That's it. Hey! How easy First is that? First time ever done anything like that. Oh, I feel so proud. OK, let me do it one more time. OK. Just to prove that it wasn't a fluke. <laughs> because my life is full of flukes, I promise you. I found this job just out of a fluke, so... Um, Same here. So cross. <laughs> yes. Under. Yep. Oh, under. Pull. Yep. Cross, under, pull. That's it. That's it. That's how easy that dot is. And you keep going. So we've done four. Yeah. How we've many do I need to do? Eleven. <gasps> okay. <laughs> As a professional, would you like to take over? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So four. And once one presumes once you get into the floor of it. Yeah, it gets a lot easier. And you get used to pulling the now, at home you've got to be thinking, hang on a minute, this is starting to twist over. Uh-huh. Don't panic. We want that twist because that's what's going to give us that tight circular format when we pull it round. So, and if you lose count of how many of these you've done, you can actually just count the little half circles at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've done six. six. Five more to go. Seven. Eight. And does it matter what tension you're creating? You want them all to be fairly even. But don't okay. panic if they're not. It's it, it's jewelry making. We're having fun. We're not we're not panicking. <laughs> we're not panicking about our knots. <laughs> we're supposed to be having fun. So it's you know. Have you done that? Have you done five there? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. So you can see if I lift that up to camera, can you see it's twisting a little bit? I'm just going to check it's enough. So all you need How to do. How did you do that? That was so quick. I know. Check it's enough. It wants to come oh, round yes, the gem perfect. and just to the middle. So it's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Now, if your knots are tighter, you might need an extra knot. If your knots are loose, you might need one less. Again, don't panic. We're making jewellery. We're not. You know, we're not saving lives. Yeah, we're not doing an open university course or anything like that, are we? We're doing. We're doing not jewelry. yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's one side done. What we're going to do is exactly the same on the opposite side, but this time our loops coming out to the opposite side. So on the left hand side, your loops would come out to the left, and on the right hand side, your loops going to come out to the right. Okay. Easy to remember. To the left, to the left. So again, holding cord, loop. We'd hang on, stop. 
Which is my holding cord? Holding cord is the one closest the inside, to the wire. Yeah. Okay. But if you pick up the wrong one, it won't matter because the first knot will just sort it all out. Okay, cool. So it doesn't matter which yeah. one it is, but out of preference, yeah. go for the yeah. one closest to the centre cord. So again, loop, pull through, pull up, loop. Eleven. Pull through. Eleven. So that's one, two, three. And you're doing exactly the same. Doesn't matter which way you create the cross. No. Oh, just over the top. Up and over, yeah. underneath, over. Five. Create. The, yeah. How many? Six. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Yeah. Oops. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. It's so quick. Ten and eleven. Okay. So we've got, and you can see they're both sort of twisting. And that's not a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the thread. I don't know if you can see this on the overhead camera. Try and hold it up to camera in front. Maybe you can see it. I've pulled this the thread that's on the inside of the knots. What this one? This one. So it's on the inside of the knots here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pull that across to the inside. So the one that's on the tighter side of the knots. I don't know mm -hmm. if you can tell which one it is. It's on on the on the side that we didn't. The inner side. Yeah, on the inner side. So yep. the side that we um, the the knots we tied have got a loop on the outside, or like a looping effect. And that wants to be on the outside, and then you want this tight bit to be on the inside. I'm going to do exactly the same with this side. I'm just going to flatten it down, work out which one it is. And you'll notice which one it is, because it's going to pull it so it comes into a circle. So whichever thread makes it pull into a circle, you'll know that's the right one. Mm -hmm. so I've got those two threads. And can you see automatically now, I've just pulled those, it's starting to flatten down yeah. a little bit and create that circle. So what I'm going to do to anchor that circle in place is I'm going to do, with those just those two threads, is create that square knot again. So it's create the loop, we'll move those ones out of the way. Create the loop, take your tail over, under your middle and through. And I always, top tip, if you're putting these threads through, just bend them over so they're a loop. They'll go through a lot easier than trying to push the tail on its own through. Just has a little bit more oomph. So there's my. And this is just where you need to just go gently, gently. Pull it, make sure it sits nicely, get your bead in the right place. And you see that's now pulling up. Can I hold that up to camera for you? And you see, all my beads are going to come down, but there we go. Can you see it's all coming together? I'll hold it up a little bit more. Yeah. There we go. That's flower. Little first of the square knots done. And then what you need to do is just do the opposite side. So the alternative or no, you're sticking with the same same threads. Same threads. But you're just doing the left and the right. Left and right sides of the square knot. Got you. Got so you. that's now anchored that circle for me. And yeah. A little bit of play because the bees will move up and down a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is take both of my threads now and create one square knot. And this creates just a little bit of a gap between the two circles. Okay. So literally loop, again tails over, under the middle, and pull it together. Now you'll think, hang on a minute, I've got all these cords, and sometimes they go a bit skew with. Don't panic, satin cord is so forgiving, it really will. I just love just the effect that is the finish, I think it looks so professional. It does, it, it just, I mean, you, you see these styles of bracelets in the high street, and they're made with exactly the same materials cost a fortune yeah absolutely do so that's how we create one whole circle and then we'd literally do the same again times seven and that will give you that bracelet so I don't know if you want me to do it again or whether you're happy with that as a demonstration you see there so we then repeat repeat times seven and I can show you quickly how to finish off everything at the end yes please yeah so, so we've at the very beginning we added the clasp and then we've created the, the circles. You then repeat yeah. that yes. seven times. Yes. You come to the end, you do exactly the same by doing Just taking the both the cords, do the square knot. Yes. And we're now at that point. We're at that point. Yes. So what I would do, so imagine if, you, if we need a bigger bracelet, add an extra bead and an extra flower or circle or sunshine or whatever you want to call it. I don't think there's a particular name for this. I just sort of found it yeah <laughs> playing around so what I've got now is if you imagine I've done my square knot to anchor my threads I've done my flower and I've done a square knot at the end to anchor my threads again and I've got two um, to my two cords and I've done all my knots what I want to do is onto the end of my two working threads my lazy threads if you like in the center is I want to add a crimp bead again that's my anchoring for my cord ending so it's got something to hang on to so I'm just going to crimp that, literally like that. You see, all that is is just crimp bead crimped on. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this off the board because so, I don't need it anchoring now. And again, what you want to do is you want to look how your first chord ending sits. So it has a right side and a wrong side. Okay, And you want to mirror the right and the wrong side because you want, when it sits on your bracelet, you want both the right sides to be on the outside and both the wrong sides to be on your inside of your wrist. Okay. So this is the right side here. So I always would put my clasp on top of it. So, like, oh, there we go. So my clasp is now on top, with the right side facing the same side as the other right side. Yeah. And again, you want to pull all those threads and get them sitting as close into the bottom and as flat as possible Tight. into the bottom. Yeah. Because this is going to give you a better finish. Uh -huh. so you get, don't end up with a lumpy ribbon clasp. And again, I would just use my fingers. I've got really sort of quite strong fingers. You can see one's just popped up there as I've done that. Again, How very dare it. You should know it's me. Don't be popping up aloud. Right. And then we're just going to push those two together. Can you see? Yeah. They're now pushed together, so there's hardly any gap between them. And again, you'll have one that wants to go down first. So it's this, this side, it's this one. So you just push, push, push. They are quite soft, these ribbon clasps, the actual metal, so they do push together quite nicely. And on the other side, and again, there we go. Your ribbon clasp is completely shut. And I would just use a sharp pair of scissors to cut my ribbons, uh, my satins off, and your wire cutters to cut your beading thread off. Don't use your scissors because it blunts them. Um, I know it's tempting. You've got your scissors out and cut the whole lot with one, one, one tool, but do use the right tools for the job. Yeah. And then if you have any any bits of fibres sitting on the end, and you think, oh, crikey, that doesn't look very neat. I didn't manage to get it as close as possible. What you can do is you can just burn those off with um, a candle or something like that. But what I would say is don't hold any of the metal because this transfers heat very quickly. So you don't want to hold any of it. So you want to literally We have just that zapper as well, don't we? You've got the, the zapper. zapper. The zapper is brilliant yeah. because you can get right in there, right up to the metal and just zap anything off. Yeah. And it takes these off at the same time. It cuts them and seals them. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, just have a look on our website. I don't know whether we have any, I presume we do, but uh, mm. go to our website, www.jurymaker.com. I'm sure it's called Zap It 2, yes. because Zap It 1 wasn't good enough for us. <laughs> so we went for Zap It 2. Um, so <laughs> and I know that Jewelry Maker's prices for those are incredibly competitive. I know elsewhere they're an awful lot more money. More money. In fact, I, I took a very sharp intake of breath when I saw how much they wanted for that somewhere else. Yes, it's definitely Ooh. worth having a look on our website, <laughs> yeah. definitely. So, I mean, you could use that as a pendant. You could use it as an earring. You could use it as whatever you like, you know. So you've got lots of things you can do with that. So that's just a little bit of how to get that one started. That's gorgeous. I love the look of that. Yes. Now, while we're kind of in, in an intersection yes. of, of, uh, of tutorials, yes. um, we do have a different colour alternative for mm. you for Sarah's 60s siren um, look. And as you can see here, oh, we're sticking with colour. <laughs> oh, yeah, going for that. But yeah, exactly, that <laughs> colour pop. And it's really exciting to see these colour combinations. Mm. I mean, really nice to see jewellery that's going to be so different to anybody else's jewellery around you walk into a high street jeweller's probably most of the things are very generic you walk into a fashion jeweller's shop or oh, well they are literally that they're for fashion they're short-term gain well actually here we're going to give you long-term gain and wow factor show-stopping individuality from your jewellery loving the colours mm -hmm. just think these are so funky you've got a combination here of your shell ovals now these are 30 by 20 so a little bit larger than than the um than the last of the mauve uh, kit so if you like it you know a little bit more size if you like the idea of working with a little bit more of a, a of a wow factor of a pendant almost size well you've got that chance to do so with these 30 by 20 then on top of that you've also got those well the yellows are just popping through alongside then also you've got your midnight blue i'd say almost teal blue like petroleum blues of your potato pearls those are eight by seven genuine pearls just to highlight here, genuine pearls sitting there in that luxury combination. And we're finishing it all off with these gorgeous rose quartz rounds, eight millimeter. So uh, the nice thing is, is that you could replicate the look that Sarah's done with this bracelet, with the rose quartz and with the satin cord, Ooh. which would look very pretty. I quite like the teal and the pink together as well. They look Ooh, amazing. Oh, can mm. you? Because it's got that sort of color blocking feel to it. 
yeah it could be a really yeah. nice color contrast mm. couldn't it uh, but I was just thinking you've you know you created that look with yeah. the purple to the purple and so you might want to do if I put the pinks with the pinks look at that and actually in some ways um, the pink of the cotton uh, of the satin cord will actually probably maximize on the colors of it the, does. the it rose makes quartz. Them, makes them pop more pink yes. I know because you know when you take them off the um, central pink um, cord they seem to tone down in color so having yeah. more pink around them actually pops that color yeah. up even more that almost gives a bit more femininity it doesn't does. it? it just makes it a little bit more rose pink as opposed to a sort of a paler pink it just gives it a little bit more cool um, you've got here your four strands then on top of that of course you've got the satin cord we're adding alongside the beading thread so we're matching exactly what you got from the first bundle and the first kit from Sarah's siren um, 60s inspiration but then we're also going to give you the findings as we did before the findings this time though with your antique bronze so 98 antique bronze plated findings you've got a combination of your extended toggle clasps you've got things like crimp beads but also crimp bead covers to give a final quality finish to your jewellery you've got those brand new shepherd hooks just giving you a, a little bit of a contemporary edge to your jewellery as well all of these come as part of this deal and it's 98 findings including a meter of chain that you're getting from your 60 sirens in the blues mm -hmm. well it's not just blue though is it? it's blues pinks and bright popping yellows and that amazing inspiration is all thanks to that printed uh, pattern from these gorgeous shell pearls you've got here an offer and a real chance and a half Again, you should be closer to £40 on the price of this bundle. Your price it is, we're back to it again, £24.95. And and I think really we've got to just break down the pricing of pearls, let alone the price of rose quartz, let alone the price of, of course, those gorgeous printed ovals uh, in the shell. Each one of these has its own incredible quality value. And then when you start to bring it together with all of the findings, of course, the findings, you've got to pay for those if you were buying them separately. You should be closer to £40 on this bundle. You've got it all for £24.95. If you would like to join us, of course, don't forget you're dialing on a free phone telephone number 0800 you can join us on the web at www.jurymaker.com and if you have already bought from Jenny today on the morning show perhaps you've already made the purchases of the first kit that we had with Sarah uh, the good news is, is is that you only pay one P&P for the whole day so you can add as many times as you like we've got the miss it miss out show from five till nine as well so loads and loads of deals I think it's Ed joining you tonight I know he's got plenty of deals in store for you so really when you consider that it's one postage and packing for so many days uh, apparently for so many hours in the day you may as well make the most of it on deals like this one 24 pounds and 95 pence so Sarah we're here with with the second bundle yeah. we can we could do exactly what you're about to do with this the yes. first bundle yes. with this second bundle. indeed and because you've got the larger um, ovals you may want to, you may get even more value for money out of the second one because you might only want to do three drops on your neckline peaks because they're a little bit larger instead yes. of having the five you might only want the three yes um, got you um, so you you know and I had so much of the kit left over I mean I had all pretty much all the findings apart from the ribbon class endings I had pretty much left. all I had they'd taken about a third off each of the strands if that so you it's know go a long long, long, way. long way yeah 24 pounds 95 pence both uh, both kits so the first kit and the second kit are available right now the first kit is on the bottom there the, the code for that is BEGC15 the second bundle which I'm showing you right now which is the blue colors um, and those gorgeous midnight blues of those pearls as well for 24 pounds 95 uh, pence it's MWGC66 so right we're, we're going to the neckline we're are going we? to the neckline piece now okay and to start the neckline piece this is one I was working on last night and I did it one way and then it didn't like the way it worked out so I've done all the hiccups for you I've taken all the hard work out of it so it's all going to work for you beautifully like it <laughs> I like okay. it when things are made easy yeah I had the idea in my head of exactly what I wanted to achieve it was just a matter of getting the right materials and the right tools to make it work and everything you need is in the kit perfect okay so what I've taken is a, a good length of beading thread what's a good length neck and neckline and a half probably so half a meter just, just over half of a meter. meter, three quarters of a meter. Good length. I mean, you get so much on a reel. Don't matter. Don't scrimp because the last thing you want is you get to here and you think, I haven't got enough room to get my ribbon clasp on and everything else, and, and now I've got to take it all apart and Be do generous. it all again. Be generous. Okay. And I've pre added onto there five of the shell ovals. I love them. 
and I love the fact that each one is different. So yeah. you turn it over, you've got more orange in that one now. And if you turn it back over again, there's more purple. Gorgeous. Brilliant. So you've got two pieces for the price of one. Um, and what I'm going to do is I've just attached it lengthways onto the macrame board. Again, clipboard, whatever you've got, bulldog clip it to your desk, whatever you've got. Um, and I'm going to take a good length. Now this is again, this is probably a bit more than we used. So a metre and a third times two. So you don't want to cut this so it's um, two, say two and a half metres probably. Fold two and, and a half, half. metres, yeah. okay. Um, and you get so much. I mean, I created everything and still Oh, I see. Cord. So hang on, it's two and a half metres in length, but then you're halfing it. Yes. So it's one, yeah. okay, got I you. Hold that one up and again. a quarter. You see, if I hold it up. Got you. It's a good length. It's not yeah. quite straight arms, but this is folded in half. Yeah, so, got okay. you. And what I'm going to do with that is I've literally got an eye on it. And I'm going to take <laughs> the eye underneath. If I get this in the right place, sorry guys. There we go. Underneath my middle thread. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tail down and over. Oh, you're making a heart. I made a little heart shape, yeah. And I'm going to take those tails and pull it through. Now this is a lark's head knot. I was going to say, is that called something? It is, it is, isn't it? That's a lark's head knot, okay? Okay. Um, if you want to find them again, if you forget how to do it, that is a lark's head knot. And I literally need that just to attach it to my thread. Mm -hmm. It's a great way of attaching cords to other cords. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to take a good length, it doesn't need to be quite so long this time, of monofilament. I know, the dreaded thing we can't see on camera, but it's, it's needed for this design, unfortunately, because if you use beading wire, it, it's not soft enough to allow the neckline piece to flow properly. And that's why I took it apart and did it again last night. <laughs> so, again, we're going to fold it in half. She says, trying to find the ends. And I have top tip for, for you if you're doing this at home. If you've got anything black, even a black piece of paper, stick it underneath your work and you can see your monofilament so much better <laughs> so can you see again yeah. I've creating that little heart shape and okay crouching the tails are oh, you doing the same larks? same larks head knot so now I've got a monofilament and satin and the satin is first and the monofilament is closest to your oval yeah okay so this is going to allow me to create these beautiful loops with all of the beautiful gemstones so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on one piece of my monofilament, and it's really tricky to see, but one will be actually closer to that gemstone than the other. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got one that's closer on the lark's head knot. If I show you on, on this one, you see one thread when it comes out of the lark's head knot is closer yeah. than the other one. So you're going to pick the piece of monofilament that's closer to the shell. Okay. Okay. And um, to that, I'm going to thread on. I know it's not very interesting telly, but it's, you need to see the technique. Unfortunately, I can't add the beads beforehand. Five of these lovely So you're curls. doing the, like, the first scan? I'm doing the first. If you were doing the second one, it would be four, uh, two pearls, one of the silver spacers, and then another two. So, it's exactly so the same. you're doing the main base of the neckline first before oh, yeah. you do the extension bit, yeah? yes? because part of the extension will actually be the tail ends of the cords I'm using. One side I'll use these tail ends and the oh, other yeah. side I'll add another piece Which is on. why you made it so long. That is why I made it so long. Again, I hate running out and if you have any bits left over, they're great for making the next bracelet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I've got now is five pearls on my monofilament. Yeah. Let me see that there. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I need to i move this along a little, just a tiny weeny bit, there we go, is I'm going to take my cord, my monofilament, over the top of my beading thread and create a, like a little loop. I don't know if you can see this. I've got a little loop at the top there where my finger is. I'll just hold it there. And I'm going to take my tail underneath. Now this is like the knots we made on the previous bracelet. So remember we made that loop out to the side, but now we're working in the opposite direction. I want my monofilament without my fingers. Come here, tail. To go underneath and into the loop, and then I'm going to grab it and pull it. It looks like there's no knot there, but there is. As you can see, it's now starting to tighten up. Okay. So now I've got a little half knot on there. Now we're going to create the loop in the opposite direction. So if we're working on the bracelet, this would be left and right, but because we're working horizontally, it's top and bottom. Okay. And you always go top first, then bottom on this design. So I've done another lot to the bottom. And this is now going to tighten this up. And you can see I've got that beautiful oval shape coming. 
So to keep this tail out of the way, I'm just going to clip it onto the edge of my board. Whoop. There we go. And if you pull it too tight, that's what will happen. It'll go straight. There we go. Okay. So I now need, on my opposite piece of monofilament, to add on lots and lots of these lovely orange I love the pop of colour yeah, on these. Yeah, excellent, isn't it? I know, and it goes beautifully with this top of mine. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I think it, I worked it out, it's nine, eight or nine beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. What a memory. I only did it last night. Should be able to remember, shouldn't I? Uh -huh. <laughs> so we're going to add on to these, and we're going to do, to create the loop, exactly the same thing again. Now, the piece that we're looking at that we're demonstrating on, uh, you've used one of the silver spacers yes. as part of the scallop. Yes. So that just becomes part of it. So instead of having five of the pearls, you just use just four pearls and one, one in the middle. Change one pearl for, okay. for the silver spacer bead. Yeah, so we'll just do that. So that's six, seven. Oh, they're alive. They are alive, aren't they? They're so vibrant, they deserve to be alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, okay, so that's nine onto the monofilament. And what you want to do is just to get that, just to sit nicely on that side. And again, we're going to do the same. So we're going to create a loop over the top and then go under. So I hold my monofilament out of the way. I did this sitting on my knee, so it's a lot easier when you're at home because you'll have a nice flat station that I missed. <laughs> You're putting no. it underneath the... Underneath, the, yeah. Almost the lazy cord. Yeah. So if you imagine that is a, just a lazy strand, it's not going to do anything. This other than hold your shell. Yeah. And then again, now we're going, creating a loop on the opposite side, monofilament underneath. There we go. And get my fingers out of the way. Oh. You just want to pull that out of the way, and then you just want to pull this tight, like so. And that will create that scalloped edge. Lovely. Now, to do this, we need to do the same with our threads. So this is a lot easier to see this one. So what we're going to do, again, is we're going to do exactly the same motion. We're going to create a loop on the top of that lazy strand. Create a loop. We're going to take our tail under and into the loop. So if you can see that, and then pull that up. That's the knot on the top. And what you're aiming for with this is you want it to sort of hug and sit underneath these. You might just want to pull it a little bit, like so. And then you're going to create the loop on the opposite side and take your tail through. And everything will get tangled up, like mine has. <laughs> there we go. You're just going to pull that through. I've missed. It's me trying to be too quick, you see. There we go. And I'm going to just stop there so you can actually see the knot. Let me move these off there for you. So I want you to see how this knot looks. I'm sorry. Can you see? It looks a bit like a pretzel or an upside down U or a heart shape, whatever you want to call it. That's what your knot should look like. And when you pull it tight, it will just be a tighter version of that. Okay? Yeah. Cool. So what you want to do is pull your first half of your knot as tight as you can and then pull the second half down. And then you're going to use just the, that to pull that one, and you can see that that will now sit beautifully in a U-shape underneath that one. And again, we're going to take this cord out of the way and do exactly the same thing with the other one. And it's literally just a matter of repeating this process all the way along the neckline piece. So I'm just going to do one scallop for you so you can actually see how it all works, and then we can go on to doing the finishing touches, so to speak. Pull that through. Don't panic if everything starts to slide around and move and you think, oh, oh, it doesn't look right, it doesn't look right. You can just slide it all back. It's only knots at the end of the day. You can untie this and do it again however you, you know, as many times as you need. So when I did it wrong last night and I had it on beading thread, all I did was I just literally took this thread and pulled it out and everything came unknotted. So it's absolutely fine. You just take it all, out, all off and do it again. So there we go. That's how we would do that. We'd literally carry on doing that. But what you would do is you would take your monofilament pieces and you would tie another one of those lark's head knots just here on the opposite side of your um, sweat, cord. Um, satin cord mm -hmm. to be in the right place just to go for the next loop yeah. and then these would come underneath again and you would just carry on going, changing your design um, as you go with adding the spacer beads. 
And once we're at this point and once we've started to build this up, yes. I, well, is this the twisted square knot? It's not, it's the twisted lark's head knot. Ah. Mm. Oh, sorry, half hitch knot even. Crikey, I know so many knots now, I don't even know the names of them all. Um, so it's a half hitch twist. Now what I did to finish my monofilament off, because people often ask me how to finish, finish monofilament off, is I tied a square knot. Now then took it through, if I show you on, on this piece here. Certainly. I tied a uh, square, um, a surgeon's knot. Then what's took a it, surgeon's knot? It's like an overhand knot where you take the tail through again. Oh yes, twice over it's knot. Twice over knot, yeah. Right. And then I put it through a crimp bead, mm -hmm. put a crimp cover on. I then fed it through my spacer bead, through another crimp bead, so it's double crimped and knotted, and then cut it off. Okay. And I literally just took my threads back under there again, in exactly the same motion as I did with the scallops, to create that little effect over the spacer beads. So now I'm going to show you how to create that spiral um, knot. Now I twist my board when I do this at home just because it's so much easier to do. So I'm just going to turn this that way around, okay? So if yeah. you imagine your neckline piece is all done and we've got to the point where we need to finish our neckline piece off. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, and imagine I've put my spacer beads and my crimps on and everything else. So I'm going to take my cords and I'm going to form that um, Whichever has side you want to work on is absolutely fine. Some people find it's easier to work on the left and some people find it's easier to work on the right. Whichever way you start forming these loops, keep going, because that's going to create that spiral. So I create the loop. Again, tails under. And this is all variations of pretty much the same knot. And then literally again, I'm going to take that up and pull it tight. And I'm going to do the same thing again. So it's like when we did the, the sunset. We did exactly the same motion 11 times. This time you're just going to keep going. You're going to do it more than 11 times and we're not going to straighten it out. And if this happens, just grab one cord and pull it. And again, so we're just going to literally keep going underneath with both threads into the loop and pulling them. Ooh. I love satin cord because it doesn't normally get tangled up, apart from on live TV. <laughs> there you go. Where are you? There it goes. And I don't know if you can see, if I hold this up to camera, that's already starting to twist. I don't know if you can see, already yeah. just starting to twist. And as you tie this knot, the one thing you'll find is your cords are in the wrong place for carrying on tying that loop. They sort of end up on the, if you're doing it on the left, they end up on the right hand side. Right. And all you need to do if that happens, so if they end up over here, and you want to tie the loop on this side, so they end up on the, on the right hand side and you're tying a left hand knot. So you just feed them underneath, just literally feed them underneath like that. Take the whole lot underneath your thread and just pull it to the opposite side and it'll start behaving. And you're in the right place again to start tying and literally ah, carry right, okay, on. Yeah. Now this is how we did it on this side. You notice I haven't got any cord on this side to carry on tying my knots. Yeah. So all I did was add on another piece of cord like we did in the beginning. When we did it in the beginning, we Lark. tied on with a lark's head knot. So yes. all I did was literally tie on another piece of cord just before the silver spacer bead and the clump beads. Yes. And then you've got two two pieces to carry on up that side. Got you. And I finished off with a ribbon clasp, which we've already seen. Which we've already seen. So just flick around so we can see how it's all. And that's the the end result. But I love the fact that you've got that that twisted. Um, half hitch knot around the neckline so you've got a soft feeling around the neckline as well it's such a satiny lovely feeling yeah it just worked fantastically well beautiful yes. finish um now there's one more you have said that you're going to do is one more i am <laughs> this is one heck of a tutorial now isn't it <laughs> this is not just tutorial this is the, we are going extreme today we are, we are extreme, going extreme tutorial and um, just to remind you that both of the bundles that you've uh, you've seen here uh, both the, the demonstration bundle with the mauves and all those beautiful lilacs the shell pearl the pearls and the orange red magnesite all of those and the the amethyst rounds that all comes together with the satin cord the threads and your findings for 24 pounds and 95 pence that's um at on the main screen here that's uh, your mauve colors that's begc 15 for 24 pounds 95 pence should be closer to 40 pounds but if you want that exact result and you try to make it up for yourself via our website and bought all of these ingredients you'd be paying closer to 40 pounds and in fact you're paying 24.95 because we've made up the bundle for you so we've done the hard work for you really 
really yeah. uh, which is kind of us <laughs> then on top of that we've given you the color alternative and that includes these amazing almost um heading towards neon colors they're not neon but they're heading towards there with these fantastic printed shell ovals a little bit larger than the first bundle plus you've got your midnight blue pearls your rose quartz rounds and you've got those neon colors of the bright yellows those really are neon qualities you've got your pink satin cord your beading thread your monofilament your elastic and 98 findings those are your antique bronze findings and again we're matching that price should be playing closer to 40 pounds you've actually got this offer it's mwgc66 bottom of the screen there it's your blues and it's 24 pounds and 95 pence you're actually paying uh, always will we say that um, we we really do strive to make sure that when our bundles when we make our bundles we do the best price possible prices that you could never get if you made up the bundles yourself that's that's the commitment we have for you so when you're buying your bundles you know you're getting a great deal uh, probably we've had a, a question in for sarah uh, and it's from jill oh hello jill hello jill <laughs> how do you tie a square knot without a lazy strand that sounds like a, that Ooh. sounds like some kind of joke I don't know how do you tie a square knot without a lazy strand <gasps> because the lazy strand is active yeah. <laughs> um, I know that didn't make any sense you that. can do it but it would end up being more like an, just an overhand knot and then going in the opposite direction so you can actually do it but it would end up it why would up, you want to it ends up more like a reef knot I was just gonna say because that looks like a reef it knot. will be a reef knot if you do it without a lazy strand you just end up with a reef knot Oh, there you go. There you go. I've just done the, done the motions, and then you'll end up with a reef knot in the middle. But that's quite pretty, because if you wanted to do that again and again and again, it would be very similar to the pretzel knot I'm going to show you. Yeah, so it's a pretty format, but you would end up more with like a reef knot going down, down the strand. And Sam, who's just texted in, she's given us a top tip. She said, if you are struggling with your monofilament, um, just dab it, where the tip, with a coloured uh, nail varnish, yeah. and then you can find the end and you can continue <laughs> to it. So that might be quite a good way to do it, especially on that design, yes. where you had two separate and you wanted to keep yeah. them separate. You could colour them differently. You could, indeed. You could make one, if you've got like um, permanent markers, you can make one black and one red. That works Perfect. really nicely. I've got loads of permanent markers at home, and which I do use for that as well. And apparently Jane in Staffordshire is just saying that she's made a zigzag braid, yes. but she doesn't know how to finish it off. The zigzag Kumihimo braid. That's probably from the DVD. It's from the DVD. What you would do is, if you can get a wide ribbon clasp, you could use a wide ribbon clasp, you know, the, the ones that go horizontally with the teeth, or you can actually sew through with a monofilament, or if you've got the Eslon of a matching colour, or even some household cotton. So on the necklace I did on the DVD, the bottom part is actually sewn um, just with some standard monofilament just to hold it all flat and then literally just sew through each piece of the satin and you can actually get a needle straight through there so you can just sew it there you go another top tip for you <laughs> now then to finish off our tutorial yes we've still got more um, we have got to, know, to be on our knees by the end of today I did say it's called designer inspiration I know it's probably quite a miracle that I haven't talked I, I pretty much uh, I just been going hmm? oh yeah mm. it's been make my life easy I, I just love creating this it's just uh, just lets me go wild well that's the thing is, mm. is that you've actually given us three totally different alternative looks yes. uh, the final look that we're going to get for, for you today for our design inspiration for this section of course don't forget we've got our kumahimo coming up at three o'clock is this beautiful bracelet it looks a little bit like the half hitch knot again it does this is a, this is what they call a pretzel knot or i think it's also called a juliana knot oh Ooh, so there you go it's a type of i'd Chinese like to know the knot. history about that i know i didn't look it up i want to know who juliana is yes but anyway pretzel knot if you're american um and if you're not you know um <laughs> and if you're not it's a juliana knot. still call it a pretzel knot <laughs> they're called various different things they're also called sailors knots and things like that you'll, you, you'll see them using various different terminology for knots it's all pretty much the same thing okay okay so in this what I've already set up for us is four strands of our purple satin cord uh -huh. and I've got two on either side okay that's literally as difficult as it gets it's in the ribbon class same as we did before so what we're going to do is you need to do this either left or right hand sided to start off with and then on your second knot do it on the opposite side so what we're going to do is we're going to with my right hand two cords is I'm going to create a loop and I'm bringing if you like I'm going around clockwise um, to create that loop okay you see that loop there yeah okay and what you want to do is you want to sort of pinch where it crosses over and cross it over 
on top of the left hand two threads. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to try and do all of this sat on the, on the mat so you can see it. The left hand tails now come up and over the tail of the right hand side. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. I then will create that little loop in there. I'm going to take the tails up inside there. So they've got under the right hand side uh -huh. coming down. So they've gone under there. Now then, you need to create that little loop here so you'll have a circle with this line going through it, if you yeah. can imagine it, yeah. And what we need to do is take these tails down under these ones and up through that hole. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Right, hopefully making sense. And what I'll do is just cross my tails over because I prefer to do that. And then I'm literally going to go under those ones like that. You see where I've just gone under? Yeah. And pull that through. And if I pull that like that, can you see I've got a very large pretzel knot. So what I'm going to do now I have <laughs> got blazers about how I would do that now. You need to do that again. I'll do it again, don't worry. I'm just you definitely need to do that again, because I, I, I got it, but I just don't think I could do it. Got it, but it's gone. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. I spend most of my life saying that, though. I understand what you're saying, but could you say it again? <laughs> <laughs> so all I'm doing is pulling that up and teasing it to create the knot. OK. And each time you do is move it, just keep teasing it so you can see it. It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. OK, so that's the first one. Now I did my loop on the right hand side this time, didn't I, for this first one? You did. So, start again. Threads down. Now hang on a minute, because you've, you're, you've done one, I've done one, and on the bracelet, you then you added in a gemstone, did, did you? Those, I did those after, because I wasn't quite <sighs> sure if I wanted the gemstones or not, so I did them after. If you wanted to, you could pop them on now, just create an eye pin, on each, an eye on each end of, a piece of an amethyst and thread them on. I personally prefer to do it afterwards. Afterwards, because I don't know how big my gaps are and everything yep, else. Got, yep. So, did it on the right hand side. Just try and keep all your threads as straight and neat as possible. So, yeah, there we go. So they're all flat and straight. So I did my loop on the right hand side. So this time, I'm going to go in an anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise to make the circle. To make the circle and make it go on top of my two threads that are coming down. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got almost like a lolly if you want to think of it that way you've got a straight line with a loop on top I've got a lolly okay and then the tails come over yeah so that's the first if you remember over under over under you'll be okay with this one <laughs> <laughs> so we're over under into the center section so i've gone under this one through yeah and then i'm going see my loop i'm going to go under, sorry, yeah, under and over this one here. It looks like a, you think, hang on a minute, what a mess have I got there? Don't worry, just go up. Oh, I have got a mess. <laughs> Let's just see. Let me do that one again. Sorry, guys. Even I get it wrong. <laughs> oh, dear. So, loop. <laughs> oh, dear. So we're at the loop. We're at the loop. We've got the loop over the top of the the two oh, drop downs. Yeah. I've got the lollipop. Yeah. So I'm going up over. That's where I've gone wrong. I need to go under there. No, I don't. Over that one. <laughs> and then under the tails. And then that's where I went wrong. I went the opposite direction to where I should have gone. Okay. So I went through this side. I should have actually gone that way. Oh, you're going backwards on yourself. Yeah. So I need to go under this one and over that one. There we go. Hopefully that will work out. I've done exactly the same thing again. Let's just. Oh. Why have you gone? Oh, my God, God. It's all worked perfectly at home. <laughs> I know, but when you start to actually talk it through, yeah, and the ups and overs and under and overs and ups and downs and in and outs. Yeah. That's it. I need to go over the top of that one. That's why. Okay, so stop there. Yeah. Because actually, what you're saying is, is that those those strands need to come up over the, over the top rather than yeah, underneath. I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think that was right. We did it the other way, just because I've got it, got it in my head the other way around. Yeah, over the top, and then over those, yeah, under there, and then under and through that one. Right, that's it. There we go. 
does work. You see? <laughs> so it's exactly the same, but in the opposite direction. Okay. So here we go. You see, it's just. You do that one more time. Yeah, one more time. I know. I'm asking you to do something that's, uh, but it's, it's easier to ask than not. Yeah. So we do up and over. Up and over. So we create the hook, the circle. Yeah. And we lie that on top of on top of your two yeah. strands. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then this goes over the top of those ones. Yeah, that's the bit that's that we've got to get right. Yeah. yeah. So over the top, through. Then you through another the loop. The loop you've got under there, yeah. And you've got this piece which you go under and over, yeah, and uh, and over, yeah. And then if I move my tails out of the way, you'll be able to see exactly where I've gone. And don't forget that all of these uh, will be available to replay so that you'll be able to stop and start, stop and start, um, so that you can watch and create yeah. that look where, with Sarah. A uh, fantastic look, and you know, Love you it. will end up with you know bits that you think, hang on a minute, where's that supposed to go? But just keep pulling it. And if you've got those sort of two loops and the two coming down, you can see it if I just show you with my fingers, the two coming round, yeah. and then you've got the two coming down and the two going up, then you've got it right. And then you'll be able to just pull it tight. And at home, you, what you'll do is you'll work these up so they're tighter to each other. So this one I would have pulled up. And you can do it afterwards, it doesn't matter. But you can break it to yeah. then break it up with the gemstones. Yeah, and you'd literally just make them as close to each other as you want. I mean, you can do these literally straight after each other so there's no gap. One, two, three, straight after each other. Ryan was saying it'd be nice to use those as well yes. if you wanted, instead of using the... Yeah. If it, Ryan's our director yeah. and he was just saying he Left quite it. liked that yeah. idea of just using them as yeah. little... I mean, you know, you could have... If you did a bigger gap like that, you could put two in the middle there. Pretty. Yeah, very so pretty. You've got I lots, like that design. lots of design sort of potentials with it. Mm. And if you've got things like suede cord or the thick leather cord, this works beautifully with it. It's just absolutely... The more strands you use, the bigger the knots come and the you know, if you want to use two or three different colours, like on the kit coming up, if you want to use all four colours and make this, you end up with the colours going round in sequence inside the knot. It looks beautiful. Mm. Like it. There we go. We've got um, there in the end. <laughs> we have coming your way later on with Sarah and um, designer inspiration with Kumahimo. So if you like your braidings, your cords, your threads, anything like that, well, we do have some special deals to sit alongside Sarah's inspiration as well. So all of that is to look forward to from three o'clock. But in the meantime, we're doing a little section. Now, don't forget, you need to keep your eye out because in this next hour, you can choose three items, Ooh. any three items within the hour mm. to then create something with before the end of the show. I don't normally get to choose and I'm, I'm a Gemini no. so this is going to be really tricky. Yes, yeah. mm. you've got three to choose within the whole hour. Okay. Now this hour <laughs> is going to be a bit of a treat because I don't know, I've been away, okay? I've been away and while I've been away I have seen snow, snow and um, snow. Um, oh my puppy's fallen off. Where's it gone? Oh, here it is. That's all right. I found it. Oh, look. I'll have to put my puppy back on. I can't. Ah, oh. <laughs> I'll just put myself as well. That's nice. There, I have to have my, my puppy on. There you go. Um, we have, um, we've seen loads of snow up in Scotland, um, in particular of where the Highlands, where I was. And one of the nicest things while I was away was to, I felt so festive, I felt so Christmassy, so, so early. Well, it's not really that early, is it? We're in November now. And one of the things, as soon as, I, as Pip and I came together today, Pip being our producer, um, I suddenly just went, I'm feeling Christmassy. I need to do some Christmas cracker deals. I need to do something that gets us all in the spirit to make jewelry for other people and to get gifts at, Ahoy. Well, that's what we are going to do for you within this next section. To the point, well, you know how we've got the top 10 going on. Some of our most popular gemstones, some of our most popular findings that we're doing in a top 10 showcase. I've decided to bring you top 10 price slash opportunities. Ooh. Ooh, I'm feeling Christmassy. Oh, I forgot my jingle bells. Oh no. I had them out. I had my jingle bells out. Because you know we're gonna have the jingle bells down here and every time there's a Christmas deal you have to ring the bell. <laughs> oh I know. I, I had it, it out. Oh I borrowed Georgie's bells and I've forgotten to pack them. Oh we're gonna have a snowman instead for today. Aww. Here he is. Oh and Ben. We <laughs> <laughs> We have got Ho, 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 ho. Um, we have got for you a Christmas cracker deal and it is a big one. Now then, it's a big one because 
We need a wide angle of lens for this. By one. By one. Two. Three. Oh yes. You can see it all. Or can you see it all? Because I don't know whether you'll get them all into shot. But this is my first Christmas cracker deal. Oh, 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 oh. Um, we have got for you a very special deal. Now we ummed and ahed about this, didn't we, Pip? Now Pip and I have had a bit of a debate debate and the debate was as just how low we could go now we all know that, that that i like to push boundaries and i work with kim quite a lot and kim pushes every boundary possible who's one of our producers so i've kind of got used to pushing that boundary so i am pushing pip to boundaries that he's never been pushed before it's fair to say he's feeling a little bit hot under the collar right now and not in that way he has got a deal for you that I don't think he ever quite debated doing until I came into his life. Just some hours ago, I changed Pip's life forever. Yeah. Ho, 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 ho. That was a bit sinister hoeing. It was. was wasn't it? Santa went a little bit evil. <laughs> it's all right, children, Santa's good. What we're about to do, we're about, we are about to bring you organza ribbon like you've never seen it before. You buy one bundle for the standard price of £6.95, you can buy a further bundle for a pound, and a further bundle for a pound. Therefore, we are bringing you 300 metres of your Christmas cracker organza ribbon for just £8.95. I feel like we have some, we should have, do, 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 do. <laughs> but with jingle bells, because of course it's Christmassy. Uh, eight pounds, Rambo goes Christmas. Eight pounds, I'd buy. That's the sequel. We all know it's gonna happen, don't we? <laughs> Sylvester Stallone's gone, I have an idea. I would go with now. Eight pounds, is that how he sounds? That was <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. That was my, that was my, okay, that sounded nothing like him, doesn't it? <laughs> I've got a great idea. That actually sounds like Sylvester the cat, doesn't it? <laughs> They're one of the same people. Oh my goodness me, we've just realised that actually Sylvester the cat and Sylvester Sloan are actually the same person. Although one's animated. Hey, eight pounds, or are they? You just don't know. Eight pounds 95, you buy 100 metres of your organza ribbon. 100 metres of organza ribbon. Think Christmas present wrapping. Oh, definitely. Bows for your tree. Oh, yes. You know, wrap round candles, just, you know, make sure that you don't let it burn down too far. The ornamental detailing. I, I have some beautiful, tall, Scandinavian candlesticks and they, ha they normally have flowers and ribbons cascading yes, off them. Yes, they do. Perfect for that. Better you change ribbon. the colour every, every day if you wanted to. Kumihimo. Kumihimo, braiding, knotting, uh, macrame, uh, you name it. Yeah, it just, they're just going to go everywhere, aren't they? They will really make a difference. You've got some really nice festive colours as well. If you want to just stick with traditional festive, uh, then you could go with the reds and greens. And these are perfect reds and greens. Santa Claus reds and con coniferous greens. £8.95 <laughs> is all you pay. That means you're getting your Iganza ribbon. Buy one pack and get the further two packs for a pound each. Oh yes, how Christmassy is that? Very Christmassy, Vicky, very Christmassy. Eight pounds, 95 is all you pay. Congratulations, look at this, look Can at I this. I have those to work with. Oh, <gasps> she's going straight I'm in going for straight the kill. In. I've got to, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a knotter and a braider and a... <laughs> I'm a knotter, a knotter, change the word just a yes, little bit. change it slightly, yeah. You've found <laughs> out, have you? <laughs> You're going for it. I'm going for Are it. you catching them then? One. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> Two. Oh, <we're> not. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Oh, oh, oh that was that a was rubbish very throw. throw. Six. Oh. Seven. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Attack of the Designer. I've given a twist. I've given a twist to designer inspiration. Attack them. Go. 
Go. Oh. Yes. Oh. oh. Wow, a 10 ain't bad. Eight pounds. Oh, you want them all, don't you? She's just going to throw them all at me now. <laughs> She's got them all. Oh, hang on, there's more there. <laughs> She's got them all! <laughs> oh, I've always oh. wanted to do that. Uh, eight pounds, not to Sarah, just through. Um, eight pounds, 95 is all you pay. Congratulations. Let's go to our top 10. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Coming in at number 10. is something very special indeed this is low stock of course these have proven to be very popular items and therefore we are on low stock opportunity i am saying italian chic with this chain i love this chain now don't go looking at me like that like you're just going to go straight over. you're going to go for it mm -hmm. i've got an idea with the ribbon and the chain she's going straight for it again mm -hmm. Oh, there's no stopping. You do know there's a whole hour of these deals. But I've got an idea. Aww. I want to do something. And once you've, cho once, you've, you've, once you've chosen, you can't change That's your mind. Right. That's fine. Now, don't remember, these are price slash offers. Yes, these are top 10 offers of the day price slash opportunities now whether we're going to honor a price slash or whether we're going to commit our own price slash this is a top 10 that you will not want to miss out on it's the top 10 with a twist and that twist is price slash and that means it's extreme price slashing and extreme desirability now the fact are is, is this chain right now should have been nine pounds 95 should have been nine pounds 95 it's 36 centimeters of your gold finish copper hammered round links they're 22 millimeter in chain and this is italian perfection isn't it this really has got that italian chic about it i just want to go against the neckline and go ah oh, ciao bella <laughs> that's how i feel about that i feel very italian and that just looks like gucci your louis vuittons your diors those big links italian style is what you're going to get from jewelry like this and you've got the chance to create your own look with one price tag, the price you should be paying, and don't forget this is your top 10 with the twist of a price slash, should be 9.95, but not today, not today. Your top 10 offers for today. Forget nine, forget eight. No, we can't, can we? 7.95? No, you're right, we can't. 695 is how we do it. It's a low stock offer. This is going to be a sellout deal. We can guarantee this is not going to be around. So once you see it and you want it, don't forget we don't go on repeat. So you're not going to see this again. We can't guarantee you'll ever get the chance to get it any other time than now within this live show. So buy it while we've got it. Six pounds 95. Sarah's gone for broke and she's gone straight for this as part of her designer decides. And you are choosing the chain. Yes. Well, she looks very excited by it. I am very excited because I love chain anyway, but chain with ribbons and textiles and things like your sari silks and all that sort of just works beautifully. Oh, I agree. Single quantity figures now on this one. We told you it's going to sell out within the show. Your top 10 is all about the best deals and also the best things that you've enjoyed over the past weeks and months. And we're therefore picking and selecting some limited available pieces, some pieces of a little bit more stock on them, but they're all going to be within this show, within this hour, we're going to price slash every single one of our top 10. If we're not price slashing, it'll have already been price slashed and we'll honor the price slash price tag. So you really are getting some serious top 10 deals these are real top sellers and then we're doing top price slashing offers as well six pounds 95 for the chain i'm leaving that there for you i'm not throwing it i'm not throwing it i do i do want to look after you today it's there for you straight on to a num in at number nine <laughs> Number nine, which you can't really see behind me, but it's there, I promise. Number nine is your peach pearls. Now then, there should not be a price slash on peach pearls. You know as well as I do, quality pearls should never, 
ever be price slashed, should never ever be price slashed, and yet now you've got the chance to get that. I mean, this has got a little bit of a, of a champagne quality, isn't it? Um, very much a, maybe a peach blossom-like quality, a real luxury edge. And of course, when we're talking about size of pearls, that is a very important aspect of pricing and grading of pearls. Other aspects of grading are things like the nacre thickness, which is the layers of the pearl as they start to form. Things like the sheen, that means the luster, that's a very important aspect of pearls. All all of these things are very much related to the quality of these glorious pearls as you see it here 10 by 9 to 11 by 10 anything in a pearl size that sits over 9.5 millimeter will be classified as a luxury pearl by the jury trade and therefore we can classify this strand these are your luxury size pearls elegant sophisticated and with a price slash Oh, we're going to be naughty. Originally £19.95. Now, let's face it, if you go to your local jeweler's store and you're buying a pearl necklace with this quality of pearl, you know as well as I do you're expecting to pay three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times that price tag. But instead, today, instead of us taking the prices and doubling it and tripling it and quadrupling it, we're not even anywhere near that. How about we take 25% off that price tag? How about we take that price tag and we price slash to 14 pounds and 95 pence it's pearls with a price slash it doesn't happen any other time than when well when i'm feeling a little bit christmasy and i talk to pip my producer and i go okay let's do something a little bit naughty and oh yes that's a quarter of the price that's 25 percent off you're paying just 14 pounds and 95 pence the quality of the pearls hasn't changed the desirability and the longevity the luxury of the pearl hasn't changed the only thing that's changed is the price 14 pounds and 95 pence is all you pay go 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 on those phone lines 0800 644 655 join us on the web at www.jurymaker.com whichever way you're doing don't forget you're adding to your order it's one postage and packing for the whole day so £2.95, you can add as many times as you like, whether you want to add four, five, six times, whether you want to add 20, 30, 40 times, it doesn't make any difference, one p and p The only difference is, is that whether your delivery man is going to like you or not, because it's either that your parcel is going to be this big or it's going to be this big. But all I know is, is that you don't want to miss out on deals like this one. We can only honour this price tag for here and now. And of course, don't forget, this, this programme doesn't go on repeat. So therefore, the price that you've got here is the price you've got now. We will only honour it till the end of our show. So at five o'clock this afternoon, you will pay for seven, uh, that price tag of 19.95. So you'll pay another five pounds on top of that price tag only because you didn't buy it at the right time. And that's now 14.95. So coming in at number 10 was the chain. Coming in at number nine is the pearls. And coming in at number eight. <laughs> I definitely need to, to hold my skills for the top of the pops thing, don't I? I do. Hey, mates. That didn't even sound like anything like a DJ, did it? <laughs> that was my, that was me trying to be a DJ. Hey, mates. I don't even know. No, it doesn't even work. Okay, moving on. We have got for you rose quartz. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen feature gemstones that you have here. And they are magnificent. Rose quartz being one of our most popular gemstones in our stock list. And these beautiful faceted drops, most certainly going to be a chart topper. You've got there the luxury. I can't believe I'm going to price slash on this. I can't believe I can honour. Can I honour a price slash? Oh, we're honouring a price slash. You're going to do a price slash on the price that you're about to show. Oh! Oh my goodness me, I thought that the price that Pip had just said was actually the price that we were honouring that was already a price. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> now you should be paying £11.45 is not a price slash. No. No, it's not. It's not a price slash. Oh my giddy aunt, 350 carats of your rose quartz faster than it drops. I can't believe I'm going to say this. Oh, that's very, very naughty. That is very, very naughty. It is. I mean, those that 
those are beautifully and, and they're so big as well and they're so beautifully faceted they should they should be more they should be more oh my goodness me that's a little bit silly that is very silly it is. and you know what i'm thinking um i um, saw while i was away that um you can make angels from these bodies yes. so there's the angel's body pop a little gemstone round on top with a head pin and then add a little hay and you could add little wings yeah the can uh, you see that that's the, the angel's body kit coming up it's got some perfect beads for making wings for those for making the wings yes perfect size I like that for Christmas, the anding and Christmas gifts. And rose quartz is such a well-known gemstone to make, even if you're just making pendants, you know, one centre pendant with a little bit of chain, perhaps making a pair of matching earrings. £7.45, you've got 13 feature gemstones there for £7.45. That's a bit of a, that's even lower than Pip was meant to go. And I know that. Pip's gone very quiet. That's because I know he's gone lower than he was meant to go, haven't you, Pip? Yeah, it's got a little bit squeakier in voice. At one point, you went, yeah, and then it went, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, £7.45. Mm -hmm. That's what working with me does for you, Pip. I know, it's, it's bad news, isn't it? You've got a long time coming as well, you see. I'm going to be here for a while <laughs> until they kick me out this building. Um, right then. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the way down my top. <laughs> I'm literally. <laughs> I'm not allowed to leave until I pick them all up. <laughs> Which means, oh, they're, going... <laughs> they're very chilly. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see if I can catch them. Oh! <laughs> Awkward. Um, oh my goodness me, I literally have them all the way down my top. If I had bigger assets, they would have caught them, but I don't. <laughs> That's the problem. Oh, oh, they're literally everywhere. That is hilarious. That is one of the funniest things I think I've ever done. <laughs> I didn't even shake them or anything. Oh, that's so funny. The thing is, this is that there are so many in the tube, it literally could take us all day to try and find them all, isn't there? <laughs> Look, everybody's just walk everybody's walking around just uh, picking up <laughs> handfuls of these beads. Oh, that's genius. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I've never done that before. Oh. oh. Okay, seven. In at number seven, we have got for you your deluxe gem selection. It's a combination of your 400 carats of hematite. They're coated with silver, rainbow colours and the gold. I may as well get them all out now that I've, uh, now I've tipped them everywhere. <laughs> Either still, they're still like trickling down my body. I feel like I'm a, bar, a marble run. You know what marble runs like? Yeah. You know, and they, they get stuck somewhere, don't they? And then they carry on. I feel like I've got some kind of marble run going down. <laughs> <laughs> they're stuck in the, 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 literally they are stuck underneath my, um, Brazier. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know how else to say that. I was like, lingerie. Um, that made me sound just a little bit kinky. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, we have got for you, born because I've gone very red. Seven chances. Seven chances. There's lots of people on the phone lines probably complaining. Uh, we have got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bring back the professionals, is that what they're saying? Bring back them, get Jenny back on. We have got for you your gold, your multicolour and your silver hematite faceted rounds. They're not drops, they're rounds. And you've got them all for one price tag. Oh, of course, and I keep forgetting, we're in price slash, aren't we? I got so head up with my marble run, <laughs> they're not... <laughs> Then £11.95 is not the price you're paying. Not the price you're paying. 
price slash opportunity loads of opportunity actually for jewelry making potential here and yours for nine pounds 95 now i will just highlight if i try to put all of these once i pick them all up off the floor and from my top if i try to put them all in the tube again it's almost impossible to do so because <laughs> you get so many in a tube so many i do actually think one's gone down my leggings oh no i was gonna say can i have this for my you can have them, but, but I haven't got the kids far and I'll have what's left because there's plenty. Yeah? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, because it's I have got no idea it's gonna go with the I was gonna say but <laughs> you have to go and find them. <laughs> I'm not going to <laughs> That's a little too far for design. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do lots of things, says Sarah, but I won't do that. £9.95 <laughs> is all you pay. Oh, my goodness me. I'm glad it's not the only person that's happened to, though. When I was bleeding at home, I was working on the couch, and I was, where'd that bead go? <laughs> all the way down. All the way down. All the way down. Yeah. That's the thing. I'll be going to the toilet later on, and I'll <laughs> just say that. Ding, 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 ding. I'll be like that. I haven't stolen them. I promise I haven't stolen them. Um, oh, oh my goodness, I can't even get them all back in again. <laughs> £9.95 is your price slash. This is your top oh. 10 offers. A big deal. Uh, congratulations. Right, we're going to move straight on. Sarah, I'm just going to leave them there. And uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll put them on the board. Right, so I've not met Pete yet because when I came into the studio, Pete wasn't here. Pete, first uh, of all, pleased to meet you. Say hello, you. Pete. This is hello. Pete. It's Pete. Hey, He's Pete. on the floor for today. And then, and Pete, um, my husband's called Pete. Yeah? Yeah, so every time I've heard the words Pete, I've gone, he was my husband here. <laughs> I then realised that obviously there was somebody else called Pete. It has taken me this long to realise that you were talking about, he kept on saying, where's Pete? Where's Pete? I was thinking, how do you know my husband's called Pete? I've only just met Pip, and how does he know my husband's called Pete? But you're Pete too. Yeah. Ah, it's a common name. I'll Thank give you. you that, my lovely. And I'm <laughs> sorry. I am yeah, so sorry. So, so, oh, there's one there as well, Pete. Oh, and there's another one. <laughs> sorry. We've got them all there. Sorry. Okay, you can get sorry, the rest Pete. later. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> right then. We're going on to, oh, <gasps> you're going to so regret, so regret, because mm. you've got all three now, haven't you? Mm. Chain, organza ribbon, and, and those organ. beads. Yes. Now, Pete, she needs the beads. <laughs> she, she being the she. cat's mother, Sarah needs the beads. But Sarah. Yes. Ooh, they're nice. They're really, really nice. They but are. Not I don't know if they're not going for your design. design. No, I'm not sure. Yeah. I think these are exquisite. I, 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 on, oh, I can't think of, oh, hang on, stop. Sinking happening. Oh, yes. Oh, can you imagine those just three Look in the centre? Three in the centre between the pearls. Just three. Oh. Very, very, very Downton vintage. Abbey. Very vintage. And very Downton Abbey. There's so much vintage jewellery around at the moment as well. And pearls, well, very classic. And so if you have just got the pearls, of course, don't forget they were on the price slash. They were on the price slash. If you've just got the pearls for 14 95 then these are a perfect. And we're going to honour a price slash on this deal. We're going to honour a price slash. They were meant to be, I can't believe that, that this is the price they came on at. They were 9 95 I think that's a crazy price. That is a crazy price. I think that's absolutely ludicrous. And yet, that's not the price you're going to pay. Because 9 95 should be the price, but actually a price slash, which we will now honour, is not nine, it's seven ninety-five. You can't, you just, you, in jewelry making terms, if you were trying to buy even a synthetic of some description, you can't. Not you just that, wouldn't get that size not, and that quality. Not that size, not that quality, not that glow, not that quality feel. The colour as well, yeah. it's such a unique colour grey, isn't it? It's it almost is. somewhere between like a morganite towards a, a an imperial topaz, a sunset orange. It's a colour I haven't seen in a gemstone before. 
it's, no, I mean, it's in between a lot of other gemstones but it, it's got a uniqueness all mm. of its own I like the description champagne color is exactly what it is it isn't is. it and if we if, it, if perhaps we want to, to compare that mm. we'll obviously happily get a bottle of champagne won't we Sarah we will we'll just um, have to taste it for quality purposes of that's course. right yes. for we, us to check there is actually champagne yes rather than apple juice which is common around here yes, yes. we would just wouldn't do that no. we need some champagne. so if our bosses are watching Sarah and I are, are committed to the channel <laughs> to the point where we will drink champagne to then color compare um, <laughs> this strand to actual champagne yeah only lovely fair. only fair to be done Christine from Nottingham she's just texted she says hi Vicky I've heard of pickpocketing but boob stashing <laughs> question mark <laughs> You want to wait when she goes through security, it's going to go beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a name for myself, won't I? Oh. £7.95, congratulations there. An amazing deal, £7.95, congratulations. 0800 655 Uh Congratulations, £7.95. Next up, next up, next up. This piece, this piece, I had to go to management to ask if we could price slash. This offer was not actually meant to go anywhere near a price slash. It already comes in at such a low price anyway. We shouldn't be doing this. We should not be doing what we're about to show you here. Um, a little bit of a treat. A little bit of a treat right now. Um, sterling silver, gold plated, and these are already exceptionally low we had to go to management we had to go to management about this price tag because already these come in at six pounds 95 these are gold plated sterling silver flower spaces they're five by one and as you can see they work as an amazing exceptional decorative aspect to your jewelry making six pounds 95 is the price but I went to management and said, look, I've got a top 10 where I can price slash everything apart from this. So can I price slash this just as a one-off exclusive deal? The answer was yes. One-off price offer. You're not going to get it any other time than now at £5.95. I reiterate, this is a management agreed deal for this point in the show. Only can I honour this. Once this is gone, it's gone at this price tag. You will pay £6.95 outside of this one exclusive time to purchase. £5.95 for your price slash top 10 deals. We managed to do it. I just uh, and bit, bit, bit went, no, Vix, we won't be able to take these lower. I went, let's go speak let's go speak to the management and he looked with an eyebrow and i went you never know and we got it it's worth asking though isn't it pip definitely worth asking with a deal like this one you're loving it loving it loving it you're loving it like that five pounds at 95 gold plated sterling silver floral spaces yours with a reduced price offer but only for now that's it no other time but now can i give you this for five pounds 95 you've got their 20 pieces that's 20 in total for five pounds 95 massive congratulations to you and those are the kind of de detailed um, spaces that i know they look small but actually the detail of them is the intricacy and, and adds a big impact they do i mean the other day i had a kit that had some um silver spaces they're like double rope um, jump rings oh yes and I added them into a pendant by just taking one of the small beads back through with both pieces of beading thread and it just changed the look if I had just done it in beads it would have looked lovely yeah but it just changed by adding that pop adding that light adding that texture and I think sometimes with beaded jewelry you just need a little bit of a pop a little bit of a difference a little bit of change in texture and color and tone and light and that adds to your jewelry if you look at all the high street big beaders you know all the people who make jewelry with any any sorts of gemstone beads and there are a lot of designers out there that do just watch what they do with their little details they're all there and take up on their ideas because they really do add to your jewelry just those little tiny pops of interest and that's interesting because actually going through some of the, the designers that I know you're, you're mm. um, talking about I often find that I look at their ingredients and I go well actually 
we have most of those ingredients yeah. and the lovely thing about it is, is, is that you really have got you have got a lot of, of, of opportunity to get that designer feel yeah. but without having to waste you know waste anything other than you know not even a time really is it it's, it's you're not just, wasting you're just adding really aren't you exactly adding extra components just adds to your design and I think we get a bit caught up with beads sometimes and adding those extra components really just lifts it absolutely straight on we go to number four in our top ten we have got here aqua marine and it's aquamarine which I mean if you went to to perhaps not just at the top 10 of this week or this month and you went to the top 10 of any month of the year here at Jurymaker this gemstone would sit right at the top this gemstone would be nudging the very top post I know from the award ceremony that I organized last year oh and we've got the awards coming up this year Christmas New Year's Eve everybody look forward to oh, I can't wait for it uh, we've got all the award questions coming out in the next next couple of weeks on our Facebook site so you can uh, start voting what your favorite gemstone is what your favorite design of the year is all of those things happen and uh, the awards are announced on New Year's Eve um, and with that in mind I would suggest that if we were going to ask the question right now what's your favorite gemstone I'd say the next three or four gems that I've got here in this top ten are probably the, some of the favorites that we have full stop in the year of our vault and this is a another price slash opportunity it's another big deal now these were meant to be and should be nine pounds 95 you've got aquamarine graduated plain pairs but let's go for a cheeky price slash it is not just cheeky it's a little bit audacious 9.95 8.95 would be pretty good but not today it's seven pounds 95 look at how many aquamarine you're getting for seven pounds 95 that's a lot of gemstones and to get a lot of reward from you know you're going to enjoy it if you would like to join us 0800 6 555 is the number to dial you can join us on the web at www.jurymaker.com an exceptional deal there how many gems do you reckon you're getting 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 uh, probably 16, 17 to get halfway so you're talking about at least 25 to 30, 30 gems sitting with in this one strand seven pounds 95 is all you pay congratulations there 75 carats of aquamarine the luxury of those drops very very popular to make little simple drop earrings and those are the kind of earrings that could sell for five six seven times the price of this whole strand that's the thing about aquamarine it has such a high precedent within the gem world you could charge a lot more money for it straight on we go Oh, smoky quartz. This is special. Oh, this is very, very special. I mean, again, you're looking here at gemstones that are an absolute feature. Let me just uh, remove the black uh, background so that you can really see how they're going to stand out look at those i love the way that you've got individual shapes which give individuality to the jewelry that you're going to create you could get some magnificent center stone jewelry for the wrist whether it's going to be droplets for the neckline i've got bad news is, is that i'm going low stock quantity on this strand two four six eight feature pendants what would you pay for each pendant elsewhere i'd guess for something of this quality and of this d desirability i'm guessing what a five or a, a, a gemstone a five or a pendant so if that was the case five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty pounds so you couldn't expect to pay forty pounds to my knowledge and of course i do a lot of research on the price of single gemstones um forty pounds would be a decent price tag if you were buying these separately at a five or each but actually our original price this is the crazy thing our original price for this strand was 11 pounds and 95 pence that's the original price but we're going to honor a price slash right now it's not 11.95 it's seven pounds 95 it does not make sense it's just one of those deals that you make the most of you absolutely react straight away we're looking here at a pound a piece one pound for each one of those smoky quartz i tell you what i don't think you'd get anywhere else offering you a deal like that let me hold out each one of these so you can see the luxury and the quality not just the quality of the gem but of course we match the quality of the gemstone with the quality of the cut of the stone and one of the most important aspects of gem gem creation 
in terms of jewellery is not just the beauty of Mother Nature, it's how we capture that by faceting it, cutting it, getting the right grade to each aspect of the angles of the stone to ensure you get the very best depth of colour, the best dynamics from each stone, the clarity, the qualities. And that's what you've got here, a professional finish to your gemstones because we are connoisseurs in the gem world. And here we are, I mean, we're award-winning supplier of semi-precious gemstones. That's who we are, we're award-winning. That therefore means somewhere along the lines, we're getting it right. And we're getting it right because we have the very foundations of our company, people who are passionate about genuine gemstones, people who are gemologists, geologists, people who literally travel the world finding the right gemstones for you. That's what you've got with this kind of opportunity reflected in that passion of opportunity for 7.95. Straight on we go to Now this strand should not be price slashed. Now the facts are this strand should definitely not be price slashed. But guess what? We're not going to do what we should be doing. We're going to do what we want to do, and that's honor the price slash of the top 10 that we've had today. We've price slashed every single, we've honored price slashes every single piece of this top 10. And now we give you an exact opportunity to get something that should be nowhere near the price it's going to be. We're price slashing to such a, an exceptional degree that I think you're probably going to sit there and go, that doesn't make sense. And you're right, it probably won't make a lot of sense but you've just got to make the most of it while you've got the chance to buy it and don't forget this is a live show it's not going on repeat so when you see this deal you've got to purchase it right now and I'm giving you the warning on this one when the price comes in when the price slash comes in you will have to be really reactive 14.95 is the price you should be paying today it's tanzanite one of the world's most rare and desired gemstone a gemstone that is so difficult to get hold of that many of your high street jewelers don't bring you tanzanite but bring you synthetic man-made tanzanite because they can't access this gemstone in its real form that's how scarce it is to come from that's how difficult it is for us to access this gemstone for you 11 pounds 95 and again just think about the opportunity of making not just one or two pieces a jury for £11.95. Here you've got the chance to be able to make what? 10, 15 pairs of earrings. Even if they're just single drop tanzanite earrings with silver findings. My goodness me, that's exclusive jewelry that you're making. This is one of the world's most sought after gemstones, known as the generation gemstone because they don't think that this gemstone will be around any more than just one generation. Now, of course, we don't know exactly what will happen in the future because nobody has the crystal ball to say this gemstone will be around in 10 years time or five years time actually in reality we don't know when the supply will run out of this what we do know is, is that we've searched for over 45 years to find another supply and another location for this gemstone and it still hasn't been found so when we price slash something of this kind of rarity and integrity you know you've got something special you know you've got a big deal I've got cues on those phone lines price slash for now only I'm saying that very categorically because I don't want anybody to think oh I'll tune in later on and I'll catch Vix and I'll I'll do it at 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Nope, you need it now. You've got to buy it now. This is a live show and it won't be repeated. £11.95 is all you pay for your Tanzanite. Straight on we go to number one. And it's a very special number one. We should not be doing this. We should not be doing this as a price slash. There is no way that you would expect to see this gemstone, oops, this gemstone at anywhere near the price I'm about to do it. So, I mean, the quality of the colors that illuminate, whether it's the bright blues, those gorgeous violets, the flashes of pinks, all of that rainbow moonstone luxury 
is coming together and I do have queues on the phone line so please do be patient we'll process your call as fast as we can if you do have the option of www.jurymaker.com don't forget one click of the button and this is yours so if you want this look and you want it it's coming in at number one for a reason but not only is it one of the most popular pieces of the whole of our showcase well actually it's also one of the biggest price drops that we can commit to the price you should be paying is 19 pounds and 95 pence for this full strand it is a strand of distinction it's the luxury and it's the edge and the quality of this gem that's really going to make the difference but 19.95 is not the price you're going to pay it feels like christmas is coming early today because if it's not 19 18 17 16 15 14 pounds and 95 pence another huge saving the money's going back into your pockets not into ours so make the most of this the quality doesn't change just the price tag for 14 pounds and 95 pence 0800 655 is a very busy phone number that you're dialing right now so please do be patient you don't forget you're investing your time not your money on that free phone number please do be patient with us and we will process your call you will be guaranteed to get this if you dial early enough and now's the time to do so a huge saving look at that close-up look at those neon reactions of light that you're getting from this magnificent gemstone rainbow moonstone one of those majestic ethereal and transfixing gemstones you never know what you're going to see next 14 pounds and 95 pence now i need to move on because i've still got 10 for 10. now I've got to fit in 12 or 13 minutes, I've got to fit 10 items in. Do you think I can do it? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 I can't, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with something that when you see it, it's gonna go under 10 pounds and you'll think, how on earth, how on earth are they doing it? When you see this, you will not, under I don't understand. Right, now just to highlight, we wanna get all 10 items in, in the next 12 minutes. So how are we gonna do that? By dropping the prices straight away. How about this? You have got your green amethyst, AKA Praiseolite, one of the most recognized, beautiful green gemstones that there is within the jewelry industry. The word amethyst instantly instills the expectation of purple, but of course, Mother Nature, she doesn't stick to boundaries. She brings us these beautiful, soft, fresh greens with clarity and transparency, a breathtaking diaphanity, a movement of life through the gemstone that really does create the most magnificent look for your collection. I've got a lot of people People who are already looking like they're happy about what we're about to do for less than 10 but when you look at the quality like this you're thinking 9.95 nope think again a full strand of these beautiful drops for 7.95 Sarah you were thinking 9.95 I could tell I, by the, the face I was because it's such a rare, rare form of amethyst to get I can remember seeing my first green amethyst and thinking hang on a minute someone's got something wrong there and I love, you know, I love my purple amethyst. Yeah, of course. I actually love green amethyst as well. And I don't know why, because I don't normally get drawn to green gemstones as much. But it's got such a beauty, such an elegance, such a light tone about it. It would go gorgeous. Well, you've just said something and I've just mm. gone, hang on a minute. Oh, you've just, as you, yeah. as you described those, yeah. I thought, hang on a minute. Oh, what about match. putting Perfect those match. together? And with those pearls as well from earlier. Oh. I just you can't go wrong. It's such a delicate colour. And for somebody who maybe isn't drawn to the darker, deeper greens of your malachites and things like that, then this is a perfect way to bring green into oh, your absolutely. wardrobe. It's lovely. Seven pounds ninety-five is all you pay for your praiseolite or green amethyst. Magnificent deal. Straight to uh ooh, oh, royal blues dramatic almost midnight blues i'd go for here faceted feature stones these are going to be real centerpieces for your collection don't forget this is 10 under 10 i've got 10 minutes actually so it's 10 minutes for 10 items under 10 pounds what do you mean there's 11. <laughs> no 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 oh, sorry <laughs> sorry the karma of the world says that after i've got 10 minutes and I've got 10 items and everything's going under 10 that you cannot put in the number 11 just as a P 
Pip's messing with my mind now. Pip, my <laughs> producer, is messing with my mind. And to be honest, there's, lot, there's not a big mind of mind to mess with. So please don't do that, Pip. He says he wants to fit in one more deal. Go on then, get on. We have got here. <laughs> Stop talking, set, get going. We're ready, we're going. We're going under 10 pounds for your blue color coated calcedony. These are your fasted rounds. He's, oh, I was gonna say, put your money where your mouth is. And he certainly has done that, hasn't he? Oh yeah, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 feature jet. Well, there you go, that's that number again, oh. 11. I was happy with 10, but you've got 11 gemstones on this strand for 9.95. That means less than a pound a piece. Absolutely magnificent royal blues. I tell you what, put that with a little bit of gold, uh, gold uh, findings. You know, you're, you're, yeah. Mm. Ooh, you've got your Egyptian feel coming through there, haven't you, with the gold and the blue. Bit of lapis lazuli. Yeah, and you know, it's such a beautiful quality of blue about it. So if you if you like lapis lazuli, but you don't really want to go for that with a gold fleck in it, this is a perfect one to go for. And this for. is more lustrous. It it's is a little bit more, more light reactive. Mm. Straight on, we're going to another feature deal. Ooh, anybody who's looking for a little bit of a snowy mountain effect, anybody who's going for the frosted feel, you want to go a little bit Christmassy, do you? Do you? All right then, let's do it. <laughs> do you? Do you now, Mr. He does. He does. He has no option. <laughs> White Chalcedony, you've got here your graduated plain medium nuggets, 14 by 12 to 24 by 16 millimeter. They're not small, a 22 centimeter strand. And I've got cues on the lines again. Lots of people liking the under 10 pound deals. And we're actually, we're actually about to break the rules because this piece is not actually under 10 pounds. <gasps> Sorry. Sorry. <gasps> Only kidding. 12.95 is the price it should be, but actually to take it under 10 pounds is a commitment that we've guaranteed and not just by a couple of pennies, but how about to eight pounds 95. 10 under 10, but this time, how about under nine pounds for your white calcedony? You can imagine with some gorgeous, maybe some right red of the ribbon that we did earlier on, the mm. organza ribbon, putting yeah. it a little bit festive feel. You know, you could, they could be the bodies of a snowman. Oh. Look, you could do little snowmen. That could be its body. You could have a little pearl for its head. Can you imagine if you've got some of the friendly plastic as well, you'd be able to actually make a little hat for it out of the friendly plastic. We're scarf. feeling very festive right now. I ben, you've, I could feel that. You, you <laughs> like that. I'm warm. <laughs> I'm warm. I could, you can warm to the cockles of your heart in the whole festive snowman thing. I am. I, am. I felt it. Eight pounds <laughs> ninety-five is all you pay. Get a little bit of frosting feel, but keep the warmth in your jewellery by adding maybe the beautiful elegance of your twisted rose quartz. Now these are your twisted. They're almost twisted columns actually, and and they have this lovely movement to them because you've got such a high sheen index to this gemstone, and they're like catches over the way that it's being carved you get a real interest of, of light play can you see there if I just keep it moving really different isn't it 250 carats of your rose quartz there 20 by 9 millimeter oh, the phone lines are a bit busy right now please do be patient with us we'll process your call as fast as we possibly can everybody's call is very important to us and we will process your call as fast as we possibly can uh, in strict rotation it is a free phone number that you're dialing so it is just holding on the lines investing your time rather than your money on those lines if you would like to join us don't forget it's your multiple strand of the full strand three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen nine 19 gemstones I've got on this strand. That working out, what, less than 50 pence? I bet you any money there was more than that on the strand. I think a couple of might have fallen off. So you're probably getting up to 20 gemstones on the strand. And if that's the case, then we're talking less than 50 pence a gem. And these are genuine gemstones, highly regarded genuine gemstones. £9.95 is all you pay. Go, go, go. Don't hesitate and don't underestimate the pricing that we're giving you right now. £9.95. We're jumping straight on to the next deal. Wow. They're gorgeous. They're huge. They are huge. Do you know that screaming wire work ring at me? Just screaming. Oh, yeah, it. just one single solitaire, but, like a hot rock. But the other way around, lengthwise. Oh, really? Yeah. I oh, quite yeah. like that. that. 
Yeah, no, right, right down the finger, elongating the finger. Oh, really? I was yeah. going for the width because it, but it works know. both ways, doesn't it? Or, or can you imagine doing one of those multi-finger rings with two of those across the knuckles? Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's quite cool. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, it works both ways, though, it does, doesn't it? It does. And having it on your hands or your wrist, you have so much more movement, and the light catches the chatoyancy much more. It looks great around the neckline, but I love putting tiger's eye somewhere. It gets a lot of light and a lot of movement. And the cat's eye effect that you're talking about, the chatoyancy, mm. is shown very well on, on sized gemstones like this because you've got a larger face. And the larger the face, the more light play you're going to get exposed to the gem. And of course, then you've got to have that light reaction. So you're going to get loads of textures, those bronzes, those gorgeous golden tones, the chocolates. It's all there mixing in each one of those gemstones. And you've got a full strand here. They are 25 by 18 millimeter. Wowzers, the feature of genuine tiger's eye for £7.95. We're looking here at 5, 10, 15, at least 15 feature gemstones there. That could be 15 solitaire rings. Even if you charged a pound, two pounds for a Tanzanite ring, you're looking there at a £30 profit. Take away the £7.95 and a little bit of your time. What, £20 profit? Potentially. And that's selling your jewellery, a solitaire ring for two pounds. I can't believe that you'd do that, to be honest, but you could. You've got the opportunity there. £7.95, a chance to really make a difference to your jewellery making. All yours for one price offer of £7.95. We're moving on because we've got still loads still to fit in. We are 10 under 10 and straight on to... Oh, we're sticking with the rose quartz now. We've had those gorgeous twisted columns. Now you've got your larger rounds, and these are big rounds. And these are 25 by... Uh, pardon me, the beg your pardon, no, they're not. These look like they're 12 mil X. Actually, um, are they 12 mil? Look at those rose quartz, 14 mil. I beg your pardon, larger. Mm. Well, these could be real bold statement pieces. You could make some very dramatic looks for your jewelry collection. And, and if you got the first uh, kit from today, yes. when we had those beautiful, the bundle for yes. your first tutorial, and you had those rose quartz in the small size, the 10 mil, yes. those would go very nicely with, wouldn't they? They would, and again, that, that sort of sunburst flower technique with the knotting would work beautifully around those. You would just put a few more knots in. Nice, so it yes. would work beautifully. Um, I can see that working really nice, having maybe three of those as a pendant or a focal point on the neckline would look really lovely maybe yeah. not on the bracelet but you know if you like your chunky jewelry i love chunky bracelets sometimes it's the only thing i wear is is, is a very simple elasticated chunky bracelet but i love them anyway yeah because they're easy to wear but they have an impact don't they they're great as well if you're sort of you know rushing around the house and you need to take it off because you're doing the washing up and you just <laughs> go straight back on again i know it's very boring in my life i have to do washing up and stuff but the great pieces of jewelry just take off put back absolutely on again. the size is there the quality's there yours for the taking 500 plus carats that's 500 plus carrots it's a big impact for seven pounds 95 yours for the taking 0800 six triple four six double five and add it to your order price tag of course don't forget you've got a 30 day money back guarantee that has now been extended till the back end of january so if you see something that you like have a look at it if it's not right for you, you can return but don't have to just return straight away you could return up to the 31st of january so extended money back guarantee seven pounds 95 so i pay in all honesty you might have a money back guarantee but to our, our knowledge and our experience there's not many pieces that we send out that don't uh, don't be, stay at, at the place there they belong which is at home with you we don't have many returns at all as part of our channel I think that's because the quality and the price tag are so good that we don't we don't expect to have anything returned uh, so that's that's the good news right then where are we going on to now then Straight on, 10 under 10. Now, of course, this threading pack option uh, brings you gift bags. Uh, you've got your pink and your silver gift bags. Perfect for Christmas, this one. Absolutely perfect. Well, I need some some of that for myself. I'm doing a, I'm doing a craft fair. You've got it. No, well, not craft fair. I'm, I'm part of my, school, my daughter's school's committee. Right? And I've opened my mouth, and you know what I'm like. I've opened my mouth, and, and I've, I've got myself into, into, oh, well, just a situation where I'm part of the craft committee. 
How did that happen? How? <laughs> I don't know how that. I mean, well, you know that I'm not crafty. You know that I'm. A, I love watching and I can appreciate it. And I think everybody's amazing here. I'm just not that way inclined, am I? But you're going to bring a, another aspect to the committee. You say you're bringing the, the managerial and the communication skills and all that sort of stuff. And I'm going to make myself. I'm going to make enamel um, decorations, Christmas decorations for the stall. Do you know, enamel is just one of those ones that if people are, don't think they've got an artistic bone Me. in their body or Me. a crafty bone in their body, I Me. would say enamel, definitely the way to go because you can't go wrong. I and if you do mean. go wrong, you just pop it back in and melt it again. And I need this because what a lovely ribbon it is yes. to go alongside your enamel. Definitely. You know, all of those, the, the, the pearlescent enamels, that ribbon is perfect. It goes with every colour that I've worked with so far with the enamels, whether mm -hmm. it's the greens, the pinks, the reds, the blues, it doesn't matter what colour, this colour ribbon goes with everything. So you yes. really do have that there. So you've got 10 metres of your organza ribbon. You've got two of your organza bags. Plus you've got your cord ends, you've got your uh, ribbon. Oh, I need that as well. I need that beading thread. I need to buy this pack. How much is it? Your threading pack all together. I definitely need to get that then. I definitely need to get that. Because once you, I was thinking I also need to get the gift bags because if I'm selling, if I'm selling the, the little uh, dis, uh, Christmas decorations, it'd be nice to come in a little bag. Yeah, what I, what I do is I get, you know, at this time of year, you can get lots of tissue paper in all the high street places, yes. you know, where you do your shopping for the week. Yes. You can get it there, it's quite cheap. And I just have a big wodge of that and I just wrap it up and I've got little stickers that have got my, my name on it, my company name and my business details. Pop the little sticker on top to hold it shut, straight into an organza bag. It's ready. They can pop it in their gift bag when they get home if they want to put it in a little Christmas gift bag. If not, it's already wrapped up inside so no one can peek till Christmas Day. Like it. <laughs> like it. Um, that ribbon, I might accidentally... I might, I might add to the stash down there. <laughs> I might just, might just add my stash. It's fine. Um, straight on, we're going to... Oh. Take a look at this beautiful rose gold sterling silver filigree work connector it's a beautiful connector look at the quality of this I love that lattice work, absolutely fantastic, elegant design. I mean, again, it feels like it's got that real uh, Downton Abbey uh, lace-like feel. And I mean, if you've noticed, if you've flicked through any of your glossy magazines recently, lace is back into fashion with abundance. And I mean, not just a little bit of lace, lots and lots of lace. You really do have that, that elegance, that lace-like inspiration to this. And we have got a little bit of a special treat for you. It is a limited stock offer. You are getting here your two loop design for £7.95. It is your amazing sterling silver. When you say the word sterling silver for £7.95, impact piece of jewellery. Even if I just placed you like this, and I just made that my feature to my neckline, you know that that's a luxury look. You have no hesitation. That's a real expected impact piece of jewellery. One of the nice things about silver is that it's incredibly malleable. Um, it's ductile, which means that it holds its shape, but it also is malleable, which means you can move it. You can really give it some movement. And so if you wanted, instead of it being flat, you could actually curve it, maybe even to curve it around the hand. I've <gasps> seen that done before. It works really well because it curves right round over the, and it's, because it's narrow at the back. It sits beautifully on the finger. That would sit amazingly well. I don't want to do it with this piece because obviously uh, that's not my, my, but I could imagine just literally yeah. a little curve. Or over the wrist, if you want that curve on the wrist as well to actually sit beautifully on the wrist line. But well, I've used one of these in a bit of a sneaky way. I made an Indian inspired headdress. Oh, wow. And it sits at the front of your forehead here. Oh. It has little tassels dangling down. It has a chain coming across the headline that was sitting in the middle parting. Yes. And it has two combs that come up the side that have all pearls and things dangling off it. I'll try to take a photo of it for everybody. Um, but it's just oh, a gorgeous. really nice way to use that as a focal point and it sits beautifully in the hair. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. 
Straight on we go, and time is ticking against us now. We have got another 10 under 10 offer. Yes, we've fitted them all in, we've done it. We've only gone and done it. Uh, we have got for you these, oh gosh, look at the pearlescence on that. That's some serious pearlescent qualities. Now, of course, when you see the moonstone reaction, when you see the moonstone reaction, look at that light play. Just looks like a pearl, doesn't it? actually iridescence it's actually iridescence an amazing deal gray moonstone graduated plain rice beads 12 by 6 to 19 by 9 millimeter this is an 18 centimeter strand it's going to give you a lot of luxury you've got some great pieces to be able to work with already in this hour that could add beautiful qualities to this one strand yours for the taking eight pounds 95 now hang on a minute what happens if i took what's coming up later on not not far too too long to wait but how about if i put your garnet alongside there look at those garnets how well the great now watch this just see how the gray of that moonstone then works with something like the amethyst that i've got coming up later on isn't it amazing that the gray has this beautiful neutralizing palette so it enhances the other gemstone colors wait for it again i'm going to keep on adding oh do you want to see my presenter pick Ooh. Oh my giddy aunt. They're better than I thought they'd be. Look at that, my presenter pick. These are the most magnificent crackle quartz again. They are breathtaking. And you have got those coming your way. And can you just see how well they work against the moonstone? That's the thing about moonstone. It is exceptionally flexible. Very, very versatile. Eight pounds 95 is all you pay. Finishing it all off with one final deal at 10 under 10. And here you have it. These cannot go under 10 pounds though, can they? 16 feature faceted drops, 16 carved leaves almost, aren't they? Leaves of your rose quartz. They're huge. They are very special. Dropping down 29 by nine to 50. That's five centimeter drop on that. Five centimeter by 18. Amazing opportunity there. If you want to join us, watch out. Look what we could do. 350 carats of your rose quartz. Graduated marquise drops. Top drilled. One price tag. Eight pounds 95. Eight pounds ninety-five. Let me just show you those in individual format. Sorry if I catch my microphone, but you could see. I just want to show you them in size terms. Now that really is a beautiful impact piece. You don't have to do a lot when you get gemstones like this, though, do you? You no. don't need to take them anywhere. Anywhere elaborate yeah. it just allows so much a simplicity of design when you've got pieces of this quality these are great if you're just starting out in your wire work and you just want to put a little swirl across job done put it on a ribbon it's a piece of jewelry that you could wear every day of the week gorgeous so you know they're so easy to wear and so easy to use and you get lords and you get lords for eight pound 95 man that's a full strand phone lines are busy if you want to join us eight pounds 95 not just one or two of these a magnificent opportunity two four six eight ten twelve fourteen so 16 for eight pounds 95 what well, just just over 50 pence a gem just over 50 pence a gemstone yours for the taking congratulations and don't forget if you like the size let's just bring up that present a pick again look at that do you like size? You're gonna love that impact as well. Woo! All those to look forward to. Yes, the, the presenter pick, plus of course some more Christmas crackers with the amethyst and the garnet to look forward to. A couple of people have texted in about this little bundle here. It's our bridal, our winter bridal bundle. It's pearls and it's crackle quartz. Thank you very much for texting about it. Don't worry, it is coming up in the last hour of the show. So from three o'clock we'll be bringing, no, pardon me, from four o'clock we'll be bringing that to you. But now we're gonna head over to the gorgeous Sarah and she's gonna inspire us with her next design. And if you've always wanted to know, step-by-step -step instructions for Kumahimo and you want to get something of an exclusive Kumahimo technique this is the day for you we're going exclusive right after the break join us on Jewelry Maker as we count down the days until Christmas 
Stay tuned to see perfect Christmas gifts for all your friends and family at prices you won't believe. And what's more, anything you buy can be refunded or exchanged until the 31st of January. So for hassle-free shopping and great value, it has to be Jewelry Maker. Book now to take part in the experience. Take a behind-the-scenes tour of our TV studios, meet the presenters and learn about gemstones and jewellery. The price of £169 includes an overnight stay at the picturesque White Swan Hotel, a buffet lunch, refreshments and a three-course dinner. Dates are limited, so call or email us now for an experience you'll never forget. Tune in to Jewellery Maker for our Miss It, Miss Out show. Every day between 5 and 9 p.m. on Freeview Channel 50. Don't miss it or you'll miss out. You can now watch clips from Jewellery Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. Welcome back. It's lovely to have your company here on Jury Maker. We are live with you right now. Uh, part of our brand new Jury Maker format is, is that we have 12 hours live of shows. From 5 o'clock, you've got Miss and Miss Out with the lovely Ed, but in the meantime, you've got me and designer inspiration thanks to Sarah. Now, Sarah, you're going to give us some exclusive um, designer tips and also techniques for Kumahima. I am, and these are two new, 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 not on the DVD, mm -hmm. techniques. So okay. Brand new to jewellery nice. maker as far as I am concerned. So we've got a piece using a 12 stranded round twisted kumihima, which is on 12 one. stranded twisted. Oh, Ooh. round <gasps> twisted kumihima. Say it again 12 Strand stranded round, round twisted kumihima. <laughs> That's beautiful. And it has got a real texture to it. Oh, lads, I'm going to take this off and to give you a, give you a close yeah. up because I think that's where you'll get the real. Oh my goodness! I love how strong it is. It's a really substantial braid. Um, if you've done kumihima before, you know most braids have a little bit of a, a elasticity to it, and you can stretch them a little bit. This one does, but once it's stretched, it won't go back. So, and it doesn't stretch very far because it's a much more of a substantial and solid braid. And that's using the pink, the dark pink and the blue only in there. I love that. Yeah. I it's just adore that. That's gorgeous. And that's using also the barrel at the bottom's made using a right angle weave, which I'm going to show you how to do with two needle right angle weave. Because a lot of long words in this one. Isn't it? <laughs> a lot. Um, and then also you've created this beautiful bracelet as well. Yes. This is the um, beaded flat kamihimo. Ash, I've done a piece before where the beads were on top of the braid but I've never done them to the side before. No I was gonna say mm. yeah, yeah I've not seen that technique before so this that's again, gorgeous. Another new one. Another brand new okay well you need the ingredients if you <laughs> want to get started and create the exact looks that Sarah has, has succeeded in doing so. Mm. If you want this look if you want that look then you need to get this bundle and this bundle it comprises well first of all let's talk about the threads because these are the cords which really are the main body of Kumahimo. Uh, you've got your satin cords in your neon pinks, your turquoises, your silvers, and your baby pinks. And you are getting here 10 meters of each. That's 10 meters, so 40 meters in total of your satin cord. Then on top of that, you're also going to get your gemstones. And the gemstones, as you can see there, Sarah's used um, against the, the blue of the satin cord in the bracelet, but also to create this beautiful barrel design on the cord of her neck neckline piece you've probably used just a handful of the actual I've strands used, that you're getting yeah I've used about half a strand of um, the rainbow one of the strands of the rainbow beads yeah and I've used um, I think it's seven um, so that'll be 14 of the blue ones and about three of the pink ones and that's, that's it. it that's it so actually you've got the chance to be able to make a lot of pieces yes. because of course when you're getting so much cord and thread you're not just making one or two pieces of jewelry are no, you that's it the cord and the thread really extend any kit and it's when I've been getting kits recently that have had even one spool of cord in 
I've been making an extra two or three items at least, mm. if not more, and being quite gem heavy with with other items in the kit. So you're, it's extending it from what we would have probably got six or seven pieces before. We're now getting tens, twelves. I even did one kit the other week that had fifteen pieces of jewellery in it. Just because of the cord and Just the thread. Just because of the cord and the thread. And uh, the nicest part about these gemstones is, is that they're going to go a long way because they're going to give you impact, whether it's you going for the lovely shades of the blues, whether it's going to be the hot qualities, the passionate colours of the pinks. Then on top of that, you've got your multicolour crackle quartz. Those are the four millimetre matching alongside the five millimetre as well. So uh, five mil of the pink and six mil of the blue. These are all coated quartz uh, that you've got there. The colours are just so intense intense and I love the fact that we're giving you the plain colors in one strand of the pinks and the blues and then you've got that multi-spectrum quality to your further two strands and it really is just going to capture the attention there absolutely gorgeous loving those really loving those okay we're then adding on top of that so you've got your threads 40 meters of your thread you've got four strands we are going to give you of course as we are renowned for beading thread monofilament and elastic and we're adding in one more aspect and that of course is your findings pack and your finding pack comprises of pretty much everything and more you could probably ever want for your jewelry making to get started and to extend into some elaborate designs with a meter of chain things like the cord endings extenders if you think about those cord endings I mean for, for Kumahimo and things like that they are essential aren't they they are indeed I mean the, you can get up to um, eight pieces of the satin into one of those cords endings so Gosh, um, I didn't realize you could get so many you can it's 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 amazing what you can get in there and uh, you can get up to four pieces of suede if you cut the ends on an angle and two pieces of thicker leather cord in there so you've got scope and then of course you can get your beading thread in there as well so you've got scope to add lazy strands or you know to have a little bit more play with how you use the medium so it's just amazing what you can actually get into them they look quite small but you can get a lot in them it's interesting because when I was away um, on holiday and I promised you I would do this and I did actually I, I, I actually had the time while I was away um, I don't know whether you remember but before I left it was just pre-Halloween and uh, I was on with Hannah Oxbury and she'd made some um, polymer clay um, skull and crossbones mm. and so I took I took all of that those ingredients away with me and I had eight children <laughs> I don't have eight children um, <laughs> yet uh, but I, don't, we, I had there was eight children in our group of uh, holiday makers the all of us up in Scotland and we all sat and I sat with the kids and we all made those and I used the cord endings because the kids really really found it easy yeah. to just pop their threads in give it a pinch and yeah. hey presto they had a necklace that was working That's and it. it wasn't just a plain knotted necklace that they could get from their you know mm -hmm. for to a penny they were making their own proper jewelry and yeah. they loved that fact That's and it. it was the beading thread with the cord endings I think those cord endings you can't overrate them they oh, no. are just fantastically versatile so from my perspective and as I say I'm a very basic jewelry maker very very basic um, I mean the kids were teaching me things about jewelry making um, but they are really going to make a difference and especially when you're doing kumahimo yeah. especially when you're doing your beading and your threading with your cords anything like that those cord endings that come as part of the findings pack are really really handy yeah. you've got that offer where you're getting everything that we've gone through from the 40 meters of your satin cord your beading threads you've got four strands of your gemstones you've got your findings pack all of this is yours it should be should be closer to 40 pounds is that right closer to 40 and you're gonna go how no okay well there again on that price tag Amazing. I know it's this designer inspiration thing that we've got to remind ourselves 24 pounds and 95 pence now the good news is, is is that we've come up with this bundle which really does uh, encompass everything that Sarah's uh, Sarah's achieved mm -hmm. exactly so you're getting the exact ingredients that Sarah has used to create these both looks that she's going to take you step by step through within her inspiration we are later on within this hour going to give you different color derivatives so if these colors are not quite right for you well keep watching we have got other color derivatives uh, that, that might be something that's more up your alley so keep watching uh, but we will we'll get straight into that tutorial okay so this is using 
the standard round Konohimo disc. Whether you've got the smaller version or the bigger version, it won't matter for this at all because the only difference between the smaller one and the bigger one is the fact that one is bigger than the other. And it just makes it easier if you have um, difficulty picking the cords out, if you've got a bigger disc, they're a little bit further apart from each other. But the small one's great if you want to stick it in your pocket and take it with you, which I do everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the disc. And what we need is we need 12 strands because this is a 12 stranded Konohima. Now I always start with my strands doubled over because it just means at one end you've got less faffing around, you've got less ends to worry about, less anything to tidy up or to put away. So what I've got here is I have two strands of the bright pink doubled over. Yeah. So that's four of those. Now whatever colour you want to sit on the outside of the spiral, so I've gone for the bright pink because um, you can see it's sitting on the outside here and really giving yeah. you that pop. Whatever colour you choose, and I'll show you where to put them on the disc, but if you've chosen the bright pink, you'll need four strands of or two doubled over strands to start off with. Okay, yes. so that's what I've used. So I've got two of those. I've got one doubled over strand of the pale blue, and I've got one, two, three doubled over strands of the pale pink. So that's to get the exact look that you've exact achieved look there. That you've got there. And I've even written the pattern down, so I'll get exactly how it needs to be. Because <laughs> I don't often write my patterns down, I normally just wing it. But there you go, that's me and Komihima. And what I've done, because I'm, I know that the cord endings won't take 12 strands, is I've actually just knotted the ends of mine and, and actually put a little clasp on there. So if I hold that up, you can see. I quite like the little tassel on the end, so I've just knotted mine and added a clasp. If you've got the Wags wire cone, you can make wi uh, wire cones for this, or if you wanted to use the ribbon ends, you could use two on one side and two on the other, and have a double clasp at the back. Okay. So just your personal preference, but I just wanted to show you don't have to do that. And even if you didn't want the clasp, you could just put the knot through that loop at that end and clasp it that way and have no clasp at all, yeah. just have a, 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 a knotted clasp. So there's lots of choices on how you'd want to finish your piece. So to start off, so, um, you know how you've said you've doubled them over, what's the yes. length that you've gone right. for? This is a shorter version for, yes. for doing it. You want that. <laughs> what, a metre and a half? You want finger to finger almost, so a metre and a half doubled over. It is a long length that you need because it's going to eat your cord up. Hang on, a metre and a half in length, but then double it again, yes, so almost three metres. Almost, it's probably about right. two and a half-ish. Okay, let's fine. I've done this one, so let's have a... Yeah, it's quite a long one. Okay, yeah. so let's say, let's say you need at least Let's just, so that when we're learning, and half, three metres, three metres for each length yeah. and then you'd half it, yeah. so then you've got the cord at the yes. top and yeah. you've got two legs. Because you've got so okay. much cord in there, you just got to go miles. Yeah. So all I did with mine was double, in, put them in half, so I've got the, the middle here, yeah. move my disc out of the way, middle here, and I just went over my fingers, round again, and under, so just like that. And then just put, if you put your finger in the middle of there, yeah. and then push your knot up, you'll get a nice neat knot where the loops are all the same length. If you let go of this, the, li the loops have a tendency to want to change sizes as you pull on that knot. And I pull from both sides, and if you've got any that look a bit, mm, they're not quite tight enough, or you want to tighten it, just pull each strand individually and it'll just tighten it up. So it's just a really easy way to get these knots really tight, so just get you pull all the strands one at a time and then you get a really tight knot. That's the start of my braid. And the knot goes through the inside of the disc. Okay. Now I'm going to consult my bit of paper here. It's not that I can't remember, it's just that I want to get this exactly right for you. Now, with most Kumihimo, you would start with two cords either side of the dot. This is not how this one works, okay? So, and you start with the disc with the number eight facing the top. Oh. Oh, I know. Oh, very controversial. Oh. Oh, oh she's gone and said that you start at number eight. Oh, no, no. we're not starting at number 32. We're going to start at number eight. I know. It's okay. all controversial. Right. It is. Not difficult, though. So, in slot number six, and the slots are always after the numbers. So, that's the easy way to remember. In slot number six, we are going to put a pale pink one. Right. There we are. Nice and easy. In slot number seven, we are going to put another pale pink one. And then we're going to leave slot eight free. And we're going to put pale blue in number nine and a pale pink in number ten. So that's the first side of my disc set up. On the opposite sides are where your pink or whatever colour you want to sit and be proud is going to be. So it's going to go at 15 
and I'm always just trying to work my chords so that they're not as crossed over as possible. And 16. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. So 32. And the, the, the satin cord's one mil gauge, isn't it? it is. So it's actually quite a nice thickness without it taking over too much of the, yes, of the cord. Yes, it's lovely. And right, so, what, so we've got the first half done, and I'm always trying to get this knot right in the middle. I was just going to get my tension right. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do in 21, 22, leave a gap, and 24, the pale pinks, yeah. and pale blue. So, oh, hang on. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Absolutely like that. So we've got six pale pink, seven pale pink, nine blue, ten pink, pale pink. If I hold that up, does that yeah, help? Yeah, we've got it. No, we're yeah. good. Okay. And then we've got um, the bright pinks on either side. So in 15 and 16, and in 31 and 32. And then at the bottom, in 21, 22, and 24, we have pale pink, and in 25, the pale blue. So that's your disc set up. Okay. okay. That is the most complicated bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that, she says, yes. Now, what I would suggest with this braid is that you add a weight onto it. Now, when I mean a weight, this is, this is how I do mine. I add a bag of gemstones and I tie it on with a bit of ribbon or a bit of cord or a bit of whatever you can find, just onto the bottom loop. Okay. And that will give you good tension on your braid. It's quite important with this braid that you have a good tension. I'm just going to use my finger to get this one started to show you how it's done and then I'm going to show you on this disc how to work the braid properly. So with this braid you start, as we said before, with number eight. Number eight. I know it's with your disc facing with number eight at the top. And how we're going to do it is it's very similar to the standard Kamehimo in that we're going to work from the top to the bottom and for keeping our chords on whatever side they start off with. So if we're on the right, we're going to stay on the right. So how we start is our furthest most right hand chord is going to come out and come down to the right of the set on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got three there now. I'm then going to take, and I'm going to work this in sets of two. So I'm going to work the right hand side of the board and then the left hand side. I'm going to take the furthest so in this group of three on the right, I'm going to take the, the leftmost one and I'm going to bring it up to the left on that group. Mm -hmm. I'm now going to take the right of the group at the top and bring it to the right of the group on the bottom on the left hand side of the disc. And then I'm going to do the same and bring that to the top. So you can see now I've transferred all my, my chords top to bottom, but they've stayed either on the left hand side if they're on the left hand side or on the right hand side if they're on the right hand side. And I've worked those two sides, those two groups together. Yeah. I now get to move my disc round. Now, whichever way you start moving the disc, clockwise or anti-clockwise, you must keep going. Otherwise, you'll end up the spiral that doesn't spiral. Okay. So I'm going to turn now to my top and bottom. Uh -huh. and these are the bright pink bits that are going to really give us that pop factor. And again, sound come coming here, my move. Top, right, bottom, right, bottom, right, uh, bottom left even, to top left like so okay and I've gone round again Twist. so I'm just going to show you on the one with um, on this one again so as you just see how it's done so twist again so I've now got my bright pinks at east and west but now I'm working with number 24 stances sitting sort of at the top 22s at the top here and I'm going to take my cord on the furthest right to the furthest right at the bottom I now have a group of three I'm going to take the left hand one of that group of three back to the top on the left hand side. I'm going to pick up the right hand one, which is next to it, and take that to the bottom of the second group at the bottom there, the left hand group, and put that in there. And then I'm going to take the left hand one to the top over there. So it's the same as doing the normal Kami Hemo, except I'm working two groups. So I've got one group here, mm. which goes top to bottom, bottom to top, top to bottom, bottom to top. So I'm just working those two separate groups, if you like. And then you turn your disc again. And you do top right to bottom right, bottom left to top left, and turn again. So I'll just do this one more time so you just get the hang of it. So again, remember you've got your two groups. You're going to work the left hand side, uh, sorry, the right hand side group first. Would help if I knew my right from my left, wouldn't it? So 
right top to right bottom, left bottom to right top, then we're on to the second group and it's right top to right bottom and left bottom to left top and then turn again. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Oh good. <laughs> so I would be there a while because it does take a little while to get this going. When I say a while, I don't mean very long. But I want to give you some top tips about working with lots of chords and long lengths of chords. I don't know if you can see. If I hold these, this is my chords that I'm using at the moment. So there are quite a long length on this. It's a long, long length. Can't really see it against my top, but there is probably a meter and a half, maybe a bit less, on each chord. Oh, she's having a go. Ooh. Now, if you need to stop this braid, what you need to do is when you get to the pink ones where you've only got two on either side, just take the top right hand one to the bottom right and leave it. So you'll know that you've got three chords at the bottom. Yeah. So when you pick this up, you know those three chords are going to sit at the bottom and you're going to have to take the left one to the top left to start off that braid and then move your disc again. So always leave it like this. You can't leave it with the side ones because it doesn't work so well for being able to identify it. If, if you know, you've been coming here mowing for a while, you can look at where the threads are and be able to see where you need to pick it up from. But this is the best way. So the phone call rings, just quickly finish that last movement, put it down and go get the phone. Either that or get someone else to answer it for you. Can I just interrupt? Because we have just been given a phone call down from our management team upstairs. Um, and uh, decision made, decision made that as we have already asked them to push some boundaries already today with those sterling silver findings and things like that we are about to do something well there's the management team that's a bit worrying isn't it that is a little bit worrying that that's part of the management team we're in safe hands here at jerry maker um how about this we are going to give you a price slash on this Ooh. designer inspiration bundle you've got your 40 meters of satin cord you've got your gemstones you've got your findings it's not 1995 for everything there this piece I mean that's pretty much half the price pretty much half price should be closer to 40 pounds that you're paying on all of this and actually you're getting for 19 pounds and 95 pence massive congratulations an incredible deal 40 meters of thread and of course we've already we've already realized that actually you can get a lot more jewelry than you probably would ever expect because of the cords because they make your gemstones go further they make your jewelry go further you've got a deal there it's your designer inspiration bundle for 19 pounds and 95 pence if you would like to join us it's a go 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 and don't forget it's one pmp so you may as well add to your order on that very special and it is an exclusive deal only now can we honor this price tag on this bundle you won't get this bundle guaranteed any other time at this price tag other than right now congratulations 19 pounds and 95 pence okay another thing that people often ask when you've got a lot of cords if you haven't got the bobbins and I, I, I learned to come a hemo without the bobbins, so I prefer to do it without, personally, but unless I'm using gemstones. These quite often will end up in a right old tangle around the bottom, because as you're braiding and you're turning the disc on this end, the cords are turning in the opposite direction underneath and end yeah. up in a, a very big mess. The easiest way to do it is if you get to this stage and you've got your three cords at the bottom as your stop sign and you know where to start from, you'll have one cord. Yeah. If you pull that one cord out, from all, from all the ones underneath. Yeah, so if you just pull it out with your finger, that one one, yeah. and it'll untangle that one, and then you can start moving around the board and just untangling one by one all the yeah. way around, and they'll just slip out from each other. If you try and untangle them from the bottom, you'll end up in a huge knot. So this is the easiest way, especially when working with satin cords um, or hemp cords or anything like that, just pop that one, one out that's left, and even if you're doing standard kumihima, when you've moved to your stop position, you'll have one cord on one side. If you untangle that one first, literally just by pulling it out, then work around your board, you'll be able to unpull and untangle them all without getting into a right old tizwas. So that's how we do that, and this is what you're going to end up with coming out the bottom of your disc. And as you can see, it's a lovely. <laughs> I am trying my best you to concentrate, you're doing it. but I'm doing my. I was just seeing if I could do it. Yeah. I was just seeing if I actually had. But I've done something wrong there, haven't I? Uh, I think you might have crossed them over as yeah. you went up and down. So always, always, if you're on the right, stay on the right. If you're on the left, stay on the left. It's a good rule with coming here, and most of the time that is how the braids will work. So this is what we're going to have coming out the bottom, and I just want to show you 
that this is not a stretchy braid because quite often coming hemo is a stretchy you can pull it out so once you've made it it will give some this one solid isn't it doesn't yeah. give much at all it will stretch a tiny tiny weeny bit so if you haven't quite got mm. your tension right just run it through your fingers and give it a little tiny stretch but it's just got such a solid feel to it it's amazing so once we've done that and we've finished all our cords or got it as long as we want it to be yeah we'll get rid of that what I did was I literally just created two little knots on the end because I didn't have my wire from a wire comb or anything like that. Added a little piece of chain through one of those loops and then I added a clasp onto the other side. So if I hold that up, you can see. And that's how I've just clasped that. So that's a nice, easier way to do it. <laughs> She's having to think. I keep on doing something wrong. I keep on doing something wrong. <laughs> I'll have me on tutorial yeah, at I'll the end. <laughs> okay. Right. And I don't know if anyone's got one in the studio, one of the foam sort of beading mats, the soft oh, ones. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I don't I know if there is me. one kicking around the, the studio for this next bit. This we'll might, might make life a little easier because my beads will just want to ping off. Um, I, oh, is this for your um, this is for my little barrel? Yes, little barrel at the bottom. Oh, here it comes. Thank you, darling. Lovely, perfect. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to use it the foam side up. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix all my beads upon my tray and I'm going to show you how to do the two needle right angle weave. Now, two needle, needle right, right angle weave. Right angle weave. Yes. Two needle right angle weave. That's it. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I don't even know if you pretend. I go, oh, yes, yeah. that good old well known two angle, <laughs> two needle, right, needle angle. right angle weave. I have no idea what you're talking about. Right. You know when you do a beady bead? Yes. That's a right angle weave. And it is a two needle right angle weave, except we do it normally without needles. We just take the threads through. Okay. Now, to make life easier when you're using lots of little beads and monofilament, if you can get hold of these, and I know that th th these yeah, we did are stock quite them. often on the website and they do come in and go out, if you can get hold of them, brilliant. If not, if you, you can get these fine, fine needles from haberdasheries, um, and they, they're perfect for doing this with. If not, you can do it by hand, it's not a problem. It's not, not going to be the end of the world, it's just going to take a little bit longer. And what I've done, for speed as I've threaded mine up. So I just need to get it out of here. And what I've done is I've threaded onto two different needles a piece of monofilament. Standard, standard monofilament. One piece. One piece onto two needles. Oh, I see. Yes. So I've got a needle on either end. Mm -hmm. Now there is a one needle version of this, but I got confused. It went round and round in circles in figure eight and I was like, ooh. It was very late at night, <laughs> so it was easier to do this one. Um, and all I did to get the monofilament into the needles is I squidged it with my flat nose pliers at the end, and it will fit into the eye of the needle, no problem at all. This is our standard monofilament. So now you've got a needle in both hands. Okay, and this is why having this mat works really yeah, see, well because you don't it have them moving around. Do stops you? the beads moving around, and what it also does is allows me to pick them up straight off the beading mat like that. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one up on that side and that's going to be my center center focal bead. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Yeah. There it is. And then I'm going to pick up on each needle a single bead. And there we go. So I'm going to pick up a needle, a bead on each needle, like so, and take those down. And then what I'm going to do is with one needle is I'm going to pick up a bead and thread it on. So, and then I'm going to take my needle in my opposite hand back through as if we were doing the beady bead. Okay, so this so far is just like a beady bead. Okay, I'm literally just going to pull and pull and pull and pull and pull and pull and hopefully not get a knot in it. Yeah, my new. There we go. So I've got, if I lay that on a flat bit there, can you see? It's a bit difficult. Put my finger underneath it. I've got a little diamond. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to repeat that several times to give me like a beady bead. Beady bead, ladder, like um, a ladder weave kind of exactly. length. Exactly. Yeah. It's what some people call it ladder weave, some people call it right angle weave. All sorts of different variations of names for this, but basically this is a right angle weave. And the reason it's called right angle weave is what have you got lots of there? Right angles. Right angles. Yeah. It's all going to go in a square pattern. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to do one more for you and then I'm going to show you how to turn around and create the barrel. So once you've got four on, 
you're going to use the top bead of that diamond as the bottom bead of your next diamond. And they call these sections, quadrangles, all sorts of various things out in the jewelry making world. And so it's one bead on either needle, sorry, and then one bead on the top and then cross your beading needles through in the opposite direction. You can see having needles just makes it so much easier and quicker. And then pull, 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 pull. Try not to get your beading monofilament in the knot and you'll end up with two diamonds. Yeah. Okay. So when I want to create the bead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a long line of these. I think I did one, two, three, four, about five quadrants, so five diamonds if you like, all in total. And then I turned around and came back up in the opposite direction to create a, a wider version of this. So instead of having it being two, if I hold this so you can see, let's try and hold it on my hand, and I can point with the needle. Okay, can you see I've only got basically one diamond height's worth of thread uh, of bead here. Of, yeah. So I've got one quadrangle there and one on the other side. And what I want to do is put another on top of it. So I'm going to build this up so it's a wider, longer length of bead. Do you braid. mean when you're going to add on, are you adding just one extra on to make no. a diamond or you're making I'm another? Make another lot of diamonds on top. So it's, it's a, if you imagine it's like a long beady bead, what you would create for a beady bead. <laughs> yeah. And then I've created on top of it another, another line diamond. of those diamonds. Really so there's one diamond, yeah, and there's your second diamond. Yeah. So you've actually got two diamond yes. thicknesses. So what you're Jones. looking for is about a one inch high piece of beads by about one and a half inches long, okay, roughly. So if you imagine I've got a really long length of this, and I'm going to want to turn round and start beading on top of it. So instead of going out in, in a north south direction, I want to start now coming out to the east of this piece of beading. So to do that, what I'm going to do is, at the bottom of my last diamond, my beading thread's running across here. If I hold it up, it's just there. My beading thread's running across here. So I'm actually going to take my beading thread back through, and this is going to anchor it through the bead to the, to the uh, right of that one, and then back through the next bead down. So I'm just following this diamond around to bring my beading threads out to the side to start the next one. It's a bit tricky to see with monofilament. So now I have beading thread coming out down this way, if I hold it up, down this way and down this way from this bead. So they're both coming out to the bottom. So now what I can do is with my beading needle to the left is I'm going to add on one oh. I'm going to add on two beads, so it's going to start coming around, just bring around for that one, and then I'm going to go back through, one, two, three, one more, so I'm going to add three on, and I'm going to come back through in the opposite direction, so if I hold that up, I don't know if you can be able to see, it's really tricky to show, you see I'm going back through that pink bead there, if I do that, let me pull it for you. Tighten it all up. I've now got, going in the other direction, a diamond at the bottom. Yes. And you would carry on going up and down the rows until you had the right number of beads. And then what you would do at the end is you'd literally just sew it together into a barrel. So I had a long length, if you like, if you show it on my hand, I had a long length like that, and I took it around like that and sewed those two bits together, literally with the monofilament, and that will create that barrel for you. Okay. So this is right, right angle weave that's sort of its easiest level, if you like. It's to get much more complicated, so all those geometric designs that um, Jenny saw the other day, would, a lot of the technique would have been right angle weave. Right. or POT or those various other stitching techniques but this is just at this very basic level of right angle weave it gets a lot more complicated and you can use a lot smaller beads but that's how you start off that barrel Interesting. once you've got that done all I literally did then was add on my little bangles onto the barrel with a jump ring and a bit of chain which is all covered in your getting started booklet it is yeah so that's how we did that so that's how to do the t um, twisted 12 warp 
coming here on the round disc and a little bit of right angle weave just to get this right it's a two needle right angle weave. right angle <laughs> <laughs> or a two hand if you haven't got needles you just have to put the bottle filler yeah, through a little by bit hand. more of a tricky but the needles make it a lot easier if you have got them if not I mean I, I would do this at home if I didn't have the needles I'd do it by hand it's worth it because it's such a lovely technique such a gorgeous I love that weave I love the strength of the weave I yes. love that it's so static that's why I wanted to make sure that I got it right <laughs> Yeah, but somewhere along the lines, I've got it wrong. Yeah, because you've got. If that does happen, I mean, you can. Either, it just means that you've taken one from this side over to that side to create that bigger gap. That's all that's happened. You've twisted one of your threads somewhere along the line. Well, if you did that, like, and you got made a mistake, would you have to just start all over again? You can just walk it back, so but you, you can don't go back know what to front you've done until you find where you went wrong. Because you'll find it when you take it over, you'll see where it went crossed. Okay, the wrong so way there right. is a way to go back if rather you than back have to step, start you'll up again. Step it instead of going top right to bottom right you're going bottom right to top right you'll you'll see where it went wrong you'll see that the threads are crossed somewhere along the line so yeah you'll be but able they're to not supposed it. to so it's just a matter of watching and going back to front until you find where you went wrong i mean if you if you're just at the beginning like that i just start again. start again start again okay and, and you may get it wrong the first time because I, well like it, me i've just done i've just that's exactly the first time i've ever done that you never know if you get it wrong consistently you might come up with a new bride yeah, exactly. <laughs> it might not be wrong because there's no such thing as wrong in jewellery making. It just there is isn't. individual. Um, £19.95 is all you pay for our designer inspiration with Sarah with the Kuma Hemo. Uh, now, the thing is, is that we did say we have two different colourways to go alongside this. So let's uh, let's get the, the, the next one out for you. and Let's show you the second um, of our colourway bundles uh, because you've just had exactly the, the exact look of, of colours etc that Sarah's done with her necklace but we're actually going to give you the second colourway as well uh, if we have that handy we're just getting that Pete's just coming now with it and it's a little bit more of an autumnal feel this one it's a little bit more of an earthy thank you lovely um, it's a little bit more of a, of a rustic, I'd say a little bit more earthy. One would say that it's got a little bit more of a, of a richer quality about it, where there's a probably more summery, light, fresh, bold colours. These are a little bit more darker, richer, um, intense colours, aren't they? A combination of your mookite that you've got there with a beautiful picture jasper combination. All of these come together in a breathtaking look. Your greener gate, very 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 nice green Christmas tree colors as well and we're adding in those greens and we're not stopping with the earthy colors with just the gemstones we're matching those with the cord then you're going to get your sage and your brown wax cords those are one millimeter gauge 20 meters in total of those then on top of that you're going to get a further a further 20 meters of your dark and your white wax cord so you're getting 40 meters again in total we're adding in beading thread reading thread monofilament and elastic and to finish it all off you're also going to get antique bronze findings that's 95 pieces of your antique bronze findings all of these together come together with one price tag and that price tag I can't quite believe it. We've gone even lower than the manager's <laughs> special deal that we did. Pip, I think. Pip's, Pip's been producing. Pip, how long have you been producing with us on, on our channel? Two weeks. And already <laughs> Pip thinks that he can beat the manager. I mean, if that's not standing him in good stead with working with me, <laughs> I don't know what is. I tell you what, 70 pounds. Pip's just gone, anything the manager could do, I could do better. Uh, tw well, that is amazing, isn't it? When you start to consider you should be paying well over 20, 30, 40 pounds on this, you've got it for 17.95. A tremendous deal there. A combination of your picture jasper, your fancy jasper, and your greener gate in your four mil. Your mookite six mil rounds, you've got your 40 meters of your wax cord your brown sage your dark green and your white cord with then your antique bronze copper plated findings those are 98 pieces in total including a meter of chain and your essential pack of threading cords as well that's your beading thread your monofilament and your elastic all for 17 pounds and 95 pence yes pip my producer he's decided that he can better the manager's deal managers gave us 19.95 on the last bundle pip goes anything you can do i can do better I hear anything you can do, I can do better. Yes, you can. 17 95 <laughs> No, you can't. 
<laughs> yes, I can. Yes, I can. Oh, God. Um, 17 pounds and 95 pence. So the last deal was 24.95. Managers came in and said, let's take it to 19.95. That's for the colours that Sarah's been working with, with the pieces that she's actually demonstrating with. That's at the bottom of the screen there with the code of AHGC47. If you would like to get the perhaps a little bit more of the earthy autumnal shades to the same design, where well, you could do so with this bundle, and Pip has come in pipped the managers to the post <laughs> with a 17 pounds and actually what did that pip eee? i know call blimey that was good because you find a pip in a car don't you Oh, oh, he's sharp today. Hi, oh. I've been on holiday. Yeah, uh, be Seventeen ninety-five <laughs> is all you pay, and it costs. Don't forget, if you hear a pip on the phone lines, it means that they're just a little bit busy, <laughs> and you just need it because it beep, 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 beep. Did you get it? Yeah, my husband says if you ever have to explain anything like that, you shouldn't. <laughs> it's not even funny, so don't bother. Seventeen pounds and ninety-five pence. The free phone number that you're dialing is always hundred six double four six double five, and you can join us on the web at www.jurymaker.com. Okay, technique number two. Technique number two is a beaded flat kumihimo with ten strands. Beaded flat. Kumahima with 10 strands and gemstones to the edge because yes. we have seen it run the gemstones running to the top haven't we? We have indeed and um, is that on the DVD? That's on the DVD. I was going to say yes. that's when I've done yes. it with you. Yeah. Yes um, and so what I've done is I've set my board up for you um, and what I've done is just used a ribbon cord ending and clasp four double lengths of my um, satin cord to give me eight pieces and that's two double over pieces in the pail um, steely blue and then in the steel colour as well and I've into there I've also added two pieces of beading thread and I don't know if you can see those they're at the top there so and those beading threads have got on them the beads I'm going to use okay already added and I've just got two random beads at the bottom as stoppers okay because these ones aren't quite big enough to get two pieces of beading thread through so I'll just grab two random beads out of one of my bead scoops to use as stoppers and all I've done is taken the beading thread back through and round again just to stop it from slipping off the beading thread. Okay. So to set your board up what you do is it's a standard setup with the board and when you start 10 strand Kumihimo you normally have six cords running at the top and four at the bottom and they're in the centre positions so they're not to the side they're in the centre most and you have numbers running around the top um, and letters down the side. So what we're going to do and this is a how you start the standard flat Kumihimo is the two centre threads yes. come across to the outside positions on the letter F's. But what you do is you cross them over. So the one that's on the uh, left hand side in the centre comes to the right hand centre east west. Okay. And the one that's on the right goes to the left, like so. So the, that's, that's your first move, if you like, of the square Kumihimo, the flat Kumihimo. And what you do then is you work in two groups like we did on the previous braid. So if you imagine you've got some space at the top here, so you've got a, a, a right group and a left group. Yes. So what we're going to do is take the middle left cord, so the middle, sorry, the right hand, number 15 if it's on the bottom. Yes. And it's going to go to the gap that's just been left at the top. Yeah. And then we're going to put, take the one to the left hand side of that at the top and move it into the gap that's just been created at the bottom. And then we're going to move the last one of this group, number 14, up to the top. And then we're going to move the one that's left at the top back down to the bottom. So I've now moved that group of four threads on that left hand side. That's that half of the disc completed. So I'm going to take 16. And you started with the um, with the beading threads and you've moved those to one side, so you've only got one gap there, but you've got no gaps there. No gaps at the bottom. Okay, good. Um, it is different if you work with eight cords, but I'll explain that at another time. Yeah, no. um, so up into the gap, take the one next to it, down to the gap just created, Yeah. one next to it, so the gap created, and the one there so 17. moves last there. Okay. So I've now got four, top and bottom, and no gap left now. I've filled that gap yeah. in. I've I've Everything's migrated, if you like, back into those spaces. So that now leaves me with these two cords that I need to move back up to the top, like so. One and two. Now, 
I'm just going to quickly go through so you can see my threads have got tangled. So again, is there one, one strand at a time to untangle them? And they will come untangled if you just use the one, one strand at a time, like so. Now, if I'm adding beads into this braid and I haven't got quite enough long enough piece, you'll see that on this one, I actually created quite a few turns round. I think it was three turns round my disc completely till these two beading threads were back in the middle. Yeah. And then that's a whole turn of the board, if you like. So when these threads, the beading threads, started off in the middle, and once you've done enough movements that they're actually back in the middle again, that's what's called one complete turn or one complete circuit of the board. So, so far you've only done, you haven't turned yet, have you? You don't turn the flat disc at all. Oh. Unless you're doing the zigzag braid. And then you turn it 180 degrees at, at a particular time. In, but, but we're not turning no, this? No, no turning at all on this disc. This disc stays in your hand and it does not rotate at all. Okay. So what happens is, if, as I keep moving, I'll show you, as I keep moving, I'm gonna move the center two again. I'm gonna take the one on, the left to the right hand middle yeah. and the one on the right hand middle to the left out yeah. there so it goes from north crossing over mm -hmm. and it goes to the east west position mm -hmm. so if you just remember those two cross them over as you move them mm -hmm. that's the easiest way and then it's up and down so it's up into the gap walk all the way along the board and then again so I've done this side now yeah, so it's goes up the into mind. the gap and keep walking along the board with the cords so it's quite a quick movement and you get round and then these ones walk Feel back to the top and is that that's what you classify as two that's, that's two sets of, of cord movements if right. you like but we want to make sure that we get the, the beading thread back, back to the middle to the before we classify that as one one whole turn, circuit as you call so it. if I quickly do that so it's going to take me a couple more goes to get it there it shouldn't take too long So again, keep walking, 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 and then take them to the top again. As you can see, those those threads are starting to walk back in towards the yeah, middle they again. Yeah, aren't they? And this is great if you if you want to keep you know count of them, just have a different coloured set of threads or something like that in yeah. there, um, which is what I do on the zigzag braid to keep count of how many threads I'm using. I have a I just use a different colour. So again, we're going to walk up to the top and bottom. I'm going to show you how to add the beads as soon as we get these ones back to the original positions. Shouldn't take too long. Well, we're ne they're nearly there, aren't they? They're nearly there. They're going to get there. Right, and you might see that it's more at the top of my disc than the middle. That doesn't matter. It kind of moves up and down in that gap as you as you're braiding. Yeah. So this one goes here. I love this because it's just so therapeutically repetitive stuff. Don't ask me why I like things that are, have nice, easy rules to remember. Yeah. Once you start it, you're in that. that yeah. You're in completely in the zone. Yeah. And you could do this watching the telly. Um, I take my Kamihimo discs with me on holiday, as everybody found out the other day. <laughs> as I did all my kits that I took with me on holiday. I oh, did you? <laughs> right. Okay. So. You can see my threads are now back in the middle. So what I'm going to do is take them to the side again as normal and do the whole movement as normal. So top. The same again. But yeah, we're good. I'll show you how to add the beads in. Okay. So literally top, bottom, top, bottom. And it's at the end of this particular motion that we're going to add the beads in. So I've got to that point there. Where you're about to move the, th the I'm about thread back to up. move the thread back up. So here, this is where I'm going to add my bead in. Now, if you've done beady kumihimo or you've got my DVD, you'll know that with you doing standard kumihimo, you have to tuck it underneath the thread. So you don't have to do it with this one. It'll tuck itself in automatically. So all you're going to do is take your thread to the top with the bead in there. Wow. And then I'm going to drop a bead in on the other side, like so. Now top tip at this particular point in time is just before I do that I'm just going to push and pull my beading thread across and make it tight if I lift that up you'll be able to see so I've just pushed those beads in and pushed the pulled the beading thread tight if I don't do that the beading thread because of the nature of going up and down over the top of it was quite spread out 
quite sort of stretched out. This will just make my braid neater and make sure the beads sit really nicely on the side. I'm going to drop those in like that. Don't worry if they move up a little bit. That is absolutely fine, like that. Okay. And if I put my hands on it, you might be able to see the beads. And then you would just carry on going as normal. And every time your beading thread comes back up to the middle, and you're about to take them back up to the top, you would drop a bead in until you've got all of those. So as you can see, if I show you on, on the here, each space between the beads is one full turn around the disc. So getting those original cords back into their original positions again. Mm -hmm. So that is one, so it shows you how much braid you get each time you go right. through that movement. If it's you, a lot of braid actually, isn't it, for that motion? It is, it is. It's a, a lot quicker, the flat braid, I, I find, to create a length of braid than yeah. it is on the round. Um, because you're not actually crossing the threads over the top of each no. other, you're just sort of making them all smush out. Plastering them almost, don't yes, you? Yes, yeah. And then that literally just keep going until you've got enough length of what you'd like. So already we're starting to see, I've got about half an inch of, of braid. Crossover. That's it. North south goes crossover. Cross. Yeah. And then you go from the bottom. Oh, from the bottom. And it's number 15 to your first cord. Oh, I'm going to the left, aren't I? Yep. That's right, sorry. Left. To, to the space. Fill the gap. Then walk to the left hand side of that one and pick up the next this one. This one. Yeah. Into the gap. Fill the 15. And walk to the left Take again. Take 14. Fill the gap. And then take that take one. Take the thread. I feel fill it. the gap. Do exactly the same on the other side. Yep. So take this one. Yep. Into the gap. This one. Yep. Walk to the right. This one. To the gap. To this one. Yep. This one. To the gap. And then that here, one. Here. Here. And then those there, ones. Back up to there. She's only <gasps> gone and got it. And it's just because we're not holding the bottom that those have popped up. Ah, okay. So that's a good tip actually yeah. then. Um, as you say, do need home, a weight to it. You want a weight on the bottom. With all Kamihimo, tension is kind of a key to getting it to sit oh, that's beautifully interesting. flat. Um, especially with the flat Kamihimo, try and make sure that you you know you keep your tension when you're going north, south, east, and west um, with your braiding. You can see that. and have a weight on the bottom, or if, if you can, just hang on to the bottom if you haven't got a weight. But I mean, everyone's got an organza bag that they can put some coins in. Well, you get an organza bag with the bundles because obviously yeah. you get that. So you may as well just even if you're just putting um, a potato in there, yeah. uh, it could be anything. It could be it? anything. It could be absolute. I mean, I use just gemstones in an organza bag. Um, and I find it. Yeah. I'm like, use a potato. Use your gemstone. Hematite's very good because it's heavy. <laughs> I've got another bundle for you. Another I've got one? another bundle, yes. <gasps> so if you've liked this kind of, the, this combination of creating looks like the spiral mm -hmm. and on top of that, the flat cord, yeah. like uh, we've just done step by step with the beads to the side, I've got another bundle that I was, now then, Pip's just getting a little bit big for his boots, I would suggest. Mm. I can't quite believe that he's going to do this. He it feels like he's throwing the rules out the window. Well, I don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> well, you don't really, you don't really want to expect. You don't want to expect that it's going to always be like this. That he'll just better and better, but he is going to better himself. So I will just say four strands right now. If you've bought any of the other packs, then this is just an add it to your order opportunity. This is your Kuma Hemo combination in size terms. Look at this. Oh, perfect. Four and six mil. You've got your black agate, your orange magnesite, your yellow magnesite, and your white howlite. Six and four millimeter. Let's add to it. Look at these threads. I love these cords. Mm. Oh, juicy fruity. Mm. You've got here your black satin cord, your yellows, your You've got your lime greens and you've also got uh, well it says on my graphics it should be red but i am not sure because i've got a uh, brown here um i've got a red satin cord guys it should be a red i one. should have a red satin cord as well is it un is it tucked underneath is it oh there it is Hi, oh, it was tucked underneath there we go you've got there your 40 meters of satin cord black yellow lime green and red coming together there lovely qualities of color i mean look at those colors coming together that is a real capturing of color isn't it we're adding in beading thread monofilament and your elastic plus you're going to get your antique bronze findings 98 pieces of those in total and as i say we've gone from 24 and the managers rang down and said let's take it to 19.95 then Pip comes in and thinks he's a manager. He's only been producing for two weeks, but he decides to go lower than the manager's price on the next deal, which was 17.95. 
Then, then he does this. <laughs> it really does feel like he's just, he's just gone. Nye, 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 nye. <laughs> Just as I, I think you will need to buy them crisps and biscuits upstairs for doing what you've done there, Pip. Here at Jewelry Maker, you can buy us with food. Mm. We're very, we're very liberal in the whole. Bring in a chocolate cake, and you can pretty much run the roost for at least a couple of hours. Um, so, chocolate cake, any kind of sweet goods. I'd like to say that we're healthy, but that would be wrong. Uh, <laughs> Um, £16.95. We were actually talking about it in the production room just earlier on. We were upstairs. And uh, Hannah, I, was, I offered the boys malt loaf, right? I offered malt loaf around, and everybody said, no, thank you very much. I was being helping lovely malt loaf. Does anybody want malt? No, thank you. Then Laura Androlia comes around with white chocolate biscuits. Everybody goes for the white chocolate biscuits. I felt just a little bit of fright. Me and the malt loaf felt quite lonesome. <laughs> I felt, yes. Why did you go for the white chocolate? I can't imagine. Uh, 16 pounds a night. Malt loaf or white chocolate biscuit? Mm. Uh, 16 pounds and 95 pence is all you pay, as I say. Our Pip is really pushing those boundaries for you right now for 16.95. He started with a 24, he's dropped it to 19 with the first bundle, then he's given us that second bundle with those all the earthy tawns for 17.95. He comes and cracks in another low price tag for the next bundle. And don't forget, that's 40 metres of cord. I mean, that's Christmas cord, if ever mm. there was, that beautiful red sand cord. Then on top of that, the blacks are just timeless, really, for, for Kumahima. I'm looking at those two um, bundles that have just come out, the Earth Tone <sighs> one and this one, and yeah. I'm just thinking they'll mix and match beautifully as well. That's they will just really just go together. The, the gemstones mix and match beautifully, as do the cords. You, you can, can get, get some gorgeous colour combinations yeah. if you did do that, eh? Yeah, you can. But all those together. A real, absolute, lovely mix. And, you know, those cords, I mean, you can take all the, all the green ones out. So you could have the three greens and, say, the brown. And you've got, like, a real sort of camouflage feel to it. And then put in there, um, I'll be putting in, oh, these jaspers, I think, with the, the little brown jaspers. Are they brown? Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. And I'll be mixing those together. But absolutely lovely bundles loving that I love all them. add it to your order add it to your order uh, right now it's one pmp of just two pounds 95 and all the tutorials that you've seen here with sarah today are available on our facebook side and um on our youtube i think i believe that we put it on youtube as well so you have all of those those um what's the word different points of call when you need your help of Sarah Elvin's technique. Um, and those were exclusive as well, because we've not done either of those two no. before, so rather nice. And that's what you've got to tune in for these dear shows, when we've got this time to, to spend and really go step-by-step -step tutorials. We want something a bit different, don't yes. we? We want to fe feel like we're learning some more, and that's what these shows are designed for. Um, I have got lots of treats to fit in, though. I will just <laughs> highlight. So let's head over, because I've still got my presenter pick. Yes. I've still got Christmas crackers. I've still got, and a lot of people have been going, what is this wire bundle all about, Vicky? Well, I will give you the chance to get those. Uh, the, little, the little snowman Santa Claus here is there because he's going to remind us that we have got a very special star by. Have a listen to this. Ready? You're hearing the sound of sterling silver. Do you like that sound? You're gonna love that sound when I do a star by deal for you. Yes, star by deal to look forward to. Oh yeah, sterling silver star by to look forward to. Keep watching for that one. But before that, let's head into a Christmas cracker deal. Let's get some amazing jump rings to you now. Now then, jump rings can be used in a variety of different ways. Jump rings, I guess, were designed uh, when they were first when they were first like, created. Uh, they were designed for one principle and one purpose. But the lovely thing about jewelry making is, is that there is no boundaries. There's no right and wrongs. And once you've got an item you can do whatever you like with it and that's where jump rings really do have a life of their own they can give you so many different diverse results to your jewelry making not just for the purposes of linking things together actually these can be so much more than what you're perhaps you're expecting 
especially this combination where you've got your standard open jump rings these are socket open jump rings which means you've got that professional finish to your jury closing them up nicely so you've got there your standard jump rings yes you do um then on top of that it's surprising that i know it's surprising yes standard jump rings then on top of that look at these these are lovely i've not seen these before they're hammered finish as well. Yeah, they're wicked. They're really, really gorgeous. And here you're looking at sterling silver. These are 21 millimeters, so well over two centimeters that you're looking at. And they are hammered just to add that, that real finish of luxury, that designer edge to your jewelry. Five of your jump rings then and again i've not seen these before and my goodness me i know you're gonna love them these are your rope jump rings this is the first time i presented them to you 98 of them that you're getting here odd number but that's how many you're getting 98 pieces of your rope finished twisted round jump rings they're seven millimeter in size hecky thump come back come back come back um you've got there these are so versatile. You're gonna get so much jewelry out of them. That's fabulous. So you've got your standard open sterling silver jump rings, 50 pieces of those. Then you've got your five pieces of your larger hammered sterling silver jump rings. Those are 21 mil. Then we're adding in 90 plus rope finish twisted jump rings. Again, sterling silver, all of these together, one price tag. The price you should be paying is 16 pounds and 85 pence to be precise but you know that that's not what a christmas cracker deal is all about no 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 christmas cracker deal it means that we're going to give you the chance to really treat you and others at this amazing price point sterling silver jump rings for just 12 pounds 95 pence just think of how much jewelry you're going to get out this is not creating one piece this is not creating two or three pieces this is impacting multiples dozens and dozens of pieces of jewelry can be impacted by adding simple ad additional aspects to your jewelry making with findings like this one a lovely sterling silver opportunity there 12 pounds 95 is all you pay that's 200 in fact over 200 jump rings i think i'm right in saying aren't i is it over 200 jump rings no i think i've got that wrong 98 plus 50 so that's 150 that's 155 it says on the graphics over 200 jump rings i'm not sure that's quite right uh, let me just uh, let me just say Oh no, it is. It's two lots of 50 jump. <gasps> Hang on a minute. Oh, I need to backtrack. You're getting more. You're getting even more. Because I thought you were just getting 50 of these open jump rings. And these are sterling silver, so it's a big deal if you're getting more. You're actually getting two lots. Oh my life. So you're actually getting 100 open jump rings, sterling silver jump rings, plus your rope rings and also your uh, your larger decorative jump rings you're getting all so that's 100 plus 98 that's 198 plus five that's lots more than 200 200 plus jump rings that's 12 pounds 95 you're paying what a deal we love sterling silver and we love it so much that we want you to have this deal an impeccable opportunity really quite impressive for us to be able to bring you so much for so little 12 pounds 95 the quality of our jump rings well i tell you what we we've been um we were um, nominated for six awards um, not so long ago in the Make and Sell Jury Magazine. Um, we actually won eight awards. We were nominated for six, we actually won eight. That sounds crazy, but that's, that's the absolute <laughs> truth. And one of them was our best jury making products. Uh, not only our website, but also as a, as a channel, as a jury making channel, we were awarded with that. So really, I think it's fair to say these are the kind of deals that you come to expect from us. You know, if, we, if we're award winning, then we kind of have set our stall really, really high. We've got a boundary that we don't want to drop down from. And that's why we're doing deals like this one, Sterling Silver for £12.95. And I always say this, do your research. I want you to go and have a look at the prices elsewhere because by doing that, you come to us with so much confidence that you know you're getting quality, but you're paying for less. £12.95 and we're moving straight on. I've got loads of deals still to fit in. I've got my presenter pick still to look forward to. 
This is coming up shortly. Not long to go. I will be bringing this presenter pick. These haven't been seen uh, ever. These are brand new, but I don't know whether it's uh, whether it's something I've even seen this year in terms of size slabs. I know I've not seen these for a very long time in terms of size and quality, anything like this. So these are coming your way. My presenters pick for you very, very soon indeed. Before that, should we do the bundle? Because we've just done the standing silver jump rings. Part of me thinks, should we do the bundle? The bridal bundle shall we because we've had loads of people requesting it lots of people and i think if we've just done sterling silver jump rings and in fact if i keep the jump rings here what about this if you've got all of those beautiful sterling silver findings and you want to mix them with anything let's mix it with pearls and quartz let's get that luxury bridal winter wonderland effect to your jewelry and i think really that's christmas if you're not thinking christmas weddings you're just thinking christmas gift potential is enviable when you're buying purchases like this one because these are everything and more you could want from your jewelry for a timeless look a real classic winter wonderland effect you've got there your perfect bride oh well, I don't know about that. Calling me a perfect bride? Never. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean this bundle? Oh, I beg your pardon. I thought you meant... Um, you've got here four strands. I can guarantee I wasn't a perfect bride. That's for sure. I was bouncing on a trampoline. I was bouncing on a bouncy castle and I was on an inflatable sort of course and I was on a booking bronco and a surf machine on my wedding day. I think it's fair to say that I wasn't... Well, I wasn't the perfect bride. I certainly wasn't sophisticated and there's photographs to prove that. <laughs> we have got for you four strands. Oh, I will say one thing. This is one of the best deals of the day so far. This is one of the best offers. We're going to take this deal to less than five pounds a strand. Less than five pounds a strand. It's a go, go, go. Don't hesitate. Free phone number. You can join us on the web. Watch out because we are bringing you your perfect bride. It's a combination of pearls and crackle quartz for just 12 pounds 95. Look at this bundle. Four strands for 12 pounds 95. You don't have to select one of those strands for 12 95. You're getting all four for that rock bottom price tag. If you want to join us 0800 6 4 6 5 is the number to dial go 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 don't hesitate join us at www.jurymaker.com it is a christmas cracker deal that you're looking at here i mean this really does scream out bridal jewelry for me but actually for a lot of people who don't do bridal jewelry perhaps you're actually creating just for gifts and for the pleasure of jewelry making for yourself i don't think you can get much better than this for your christmas look i don't think you're going to get a better more versatile and more desirable and long-term wearability from your jewelry from mm. this kind of combination I mean no matter what Christmas colors you know if you want to use these for household decorations for Christmas table for all of those things no matter what Christmas colors you're going for or whatever look you go for if you're making uh, to go with an outfit these are your background these are your backdrop to whatever significant sort of other color you want to put in there your, your pop color if you like so if you've got purple and silver for your Christmas colors perfect if you're going for pink and purple and silver or any of those ones or even go for your classic reds and greens it's the foundation isn't it absolutely it is. it's completely that and i just love the icy quality of those mm. just you know it's I like know. a crisp winter morning when you go out and it's all crispy underfoot and it's all frosty yeah. and and it's one of those nice crispy days it just makes you feel really <laughs> nice doesn't it i like that a nice crispy day because some crispy days yeah, you just don't want to leave the house, do you? When it's you? four o'clock crispy day, you don't really want to leave the house, do you? <laughs> no, I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. £12.95, it's a limited stock offer. It's a Christmas cracker deal, and we've got plenty more where they come from. The next deal opportunity. Uh, shall we go to the garnet? Are you at the wire? Ooh. We're going for the wire. Now, I will say, we have got the garnet coming up, and the garnet will go beautifully with the gold wire. Let's just keep this wire, and let's put this garnet against it. Oh, there's another version of Christmas. It is. Isn't it? It's it just is. another aspect of Christmas colours. And I tell you what, I'm just going to do this, just because that garnet is coming up shortly. <gasps> Oh, luxury Christmas. That is definitely luxury Look, Christmas. The gold wire and the garnet just remind me of tinsel and mulled wine. 
Nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited about Christmas this year. <laughs> and I will say, the star buy, which is here, of which you've only heard rather than seen today, will go very, very, very nicely. I'm inclined to almost show you because it's that good. That star buy coming up very, very soon. It's going to be good. Before I do the garter though, let's do this wire deal. You're going to get the gold wire. You've just seen it. It's 0.4 mil gauge and that's 100 meters. Then you're going to get another further 0.4 mil gauge and another further 100 meters of your antique bronze. So that's 200 meters already. Then we're adding in another 100 meters of your 0.4 mil gauge. Uh, that's 300 meters. Look at me, I'm doing maths. And I'm going to add another 100 meters. That's 400 meters of your one, pardon me, your 0.4 mil gauge wire all for one price tag. Of course, 0.4 mil gauge is a very versatile gauge of wire, in particular for anybody who's doing weaving, threading, any binding, you wanna get detail to your jewelry and your wire work. This is an essential, 400 meters in total. You could kumahima with 0.4 mil gauge. That's the exciting thing, you could kumi. That's 400 meters. That, that price is wrong. That's, that, that does, <laughs> that, that, that. I know that's wrong, because that's not what it's on the website. Definitely not. 400 meters, I can't even do the maths. What does that work out at per meter? 400 into 32. Come on, who's going to do the fastest maths? 400, 4, 8, 12, about eight pence 16. It's 8 pence a meter. So that's got about to be about 8p a meter. Yeah. 8p a meter. Eight pence a metre. Oh my goodness, you have got to be eight pence a metre. Have we ever done eight pence a metre for wire? I don't think so. I don't remember that. And I, I think I, I would remember that. Having all the colours there as well available straight away in one bundle, just great. Because typically, you know, you want all those metallic colours together. You know, Absolutely. You, you know, I've, I've got like a, a wire stash and I have all my different colours separated into the different into their different um, thicknesses. So I know exactly what I'm running out of and what I need. And 0.4 is one of those ones that you use so much. You use it all the time, you reach for it all the time. And because you're weaving, and that's the thing, plus it's 0.4, mm. like the Kumahima and yes. like the weaving, you do use a lot. You it's do. not like a static wire, it's not a, a, a structural wire where you're yeah. using a certain amount. Actually, with the, this kind of gauge, it's moving all the time, therefore, it's used, you use a lot of it. You do. I mean, if you're doing like, you know, if you're doing a weave to fill a space in, but this is what you'll use to anchor your, you know, if you're doing the bird, um, Alison's bird, yes. you use the point four to anchor those swirls in place. So you're only really using a little bit of time, but you need to have plenty available because of course you need ends to, to sort of hold on to and then the wrapping piece, and then you're just gonna have a little bit left over. But don't throw any of those away. Have your little box of wire bits. Cause I use them for all sorts of things. Like if I'm just need to hold something, I might use just a piece of wire just to hold it onto my board, or I might just need a little tiny piece of wire just to attach um, something onto um, a clasp. Yeah. Um, just you use yours as needles as well, don't I you? Do. You I do, I use thread for needling. I use wire for everything. I just, I don't know how we made jewelry before Jewelry Maker had wire. I, <laughs> I don't know how we did it. Because this is the kind of wire that is so versatile. 32 pounds, that works out at eight pence a meter now that is what a christmas cracker deal is all about that's the this is the the whole point of what we're doing right now is is that we've got some christmas cracker deals deals that you don't want to miss out on 32 pounds for all of this that's a big deal it was worth waiting for now i had loads of te text people people texting about that pearl and and cracker quartz and people texting about the wire going what's happening what's happening with the wire well i tell you what i have shown you the garnet and i feel like i've kind of got I've got to do it, haven't I? Let's stick with the Christmas cracker deals. Let's just, let's, we may as well, because this, this really is a perfect Christmas cracker look. It, for me, it's everything you want from Christmas in terms of coloring rich, intense mulled wine you've got there the luxury of those darker almost um dramatic 
claret tones you know something that will react to the whitest of whites like those beautiful pearls or alternatively those lovely sterling silver jump rings or actually put it against the gold okay I'm going to show you the star buy because I feel I feel I have to to be honest because when I've got this and I know I've only given you the sound of the star buy so far and it sounds good because it's sterling silver like that but I need to show you them against this because when you see you'll go ah oh. oh. ready look um, how am I best going to show you these I don't know what can you get that guys or not if I hold it like that does that work Ben does that work for you ah ah you have got here your gold sterling silver spacer beads coming as your star buy but could you imagine just each one of those spacer beads in between each one of those garnet drops i mean that really is a perfect christmas gift that for me is the kind of gift that will last not just a couple of weeks or a couple of months and you know fashion jewelry these days is is very short term fashion jewelry is weeks it's not even months and one of the nicest things about jewelry that you're creating here is you're working with something that's actually been made from mother nature over millions of years and because of that you've got jewelry that literally could last you a lifetime and so when you work with sterling silver it's a precious metal and you're working with quality gemstones like this garnet of course january's birthstone you know you're going to get jewelry that could last you a lifetime it's not short-term gain it's that long-term impact that will make the difference and that's the lovely thing about presenting a gift to somebody over christmas is, is that if you want to give them something special you really have got the chance to do so here a very special treat and i i know i've not got enough to go around i have nowhere near the stock that i need to be able to give you the chance to own this it's your garnet graduated faceted drops these are dropped five by three to nine by five millimeter very very special opportunity work it with the star by and the treats are on us 12 pounds 95 is all you pay this is a brand new strand and i actually want to do a little bit of counting because there's a lot of gemstones here and i mean lots and lots for £12.95 I'm happy to offer you half of that strand and still think you were getting a great deal that's how many you're getting on one strand there is a lot sitting on this and that's why I think if you just spaced them you'd have a full neckline piece I mean look that actually fits around my neck so that gives you some idea of how far it's going to go in terms of impact for your neckline gosh that's amazing how many gems do you reckon you've got there two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty i'm at twenty and i'm about third way across so you what you're talking up to 50 60 gemstones on this strand for 12 pounds 95 how many pieces of jewelry are you going to make let's work on the principle of the minimum quantity is say 50 and i'm just giving you a rough quantity but let's think 50 so 50 uh, 50 so you could make 25 pairs of earrings that's it 25 pairs of earrings and it's 12 pound 95 january's birthstone i mean a beautiful timeless gemstone for your collection it's brand new today and it's an offer you can't afford to miss out on add to your order for just 12 pounds 95 you've got this fantastic deal one pmp for the whole day that one pmp is just two pound 95 fantastic deal i will just put it one more time against the pearls just so you can see how well they work look at how luxurious that combination is yes oh see that's a bridal this is like almost evening bride you know the pearls against the garnet evening bride is there such a thing as an evening bar? There is now. I don't think you can get married after dark, can you? You, can't get, you can get married up to twilight. So you can have your, you can have a candlelit wedding in a church. You can get married up to twilight. Yeah. Up to twilight? Yes. Yeah. Because the church I got married in, he'd done a twilight wedding. Yeah. <gasps> twilight before. wedding. But I went for the traditional. <laughs> like a vampire wedding. Yeah, as yes, well. Uh, <laughs> right then let's have a little bit of fun with some findings because we know here in our designer section that you need findings to be the feature to your jewelry making right I'm going to try and fit in eight at least eight in the next 10 minutes you ready for it Pip 
manager Pip now, Ooh. you know. I'm calling him Manager Pip because, to be honest, he's been doing some management prices. <laughs> um, so, come on, Manager Pip, let's see what you can do. He's not really a manager yet. <laughs> I was going to say, he's not going to be after today's show either. Um, <laughs> He might be in the manager's office, but not for the reason of getting a promotion. Um, it's because he's been a little bit cheeky on these prices right now. And I, we're not going to say no to findings like this being honoured at a price slash price point. If you want to join us, these are going to be incredible deals to be had. I tell you what, you get that star, uh, the star buy that's coming up. You get those beautiful, and these are on a special exclusive price offer. I'm going to do something really, really big on those sterling silver balls. You're going to get those. You get your garnet. Check. You get your wire. And all you need now is a perfect finish. And the perfect finish is the right finding. And the finding clasp that I'm going to give you now are these heart shape, pardon me, these floral heart shape, floral interlinking clasps. You can see how they work. They are so classy. They're so sophisticated. They link in with each other. And you see that there? Beautiful. So they work almost like a toggle clasp. They just link inside each other. Oops, it is as it flicks off. And they create the most elegant finish very very elegant finish all yours for one price tag it is three in total that you're getting so three in total and that price for all three should have been 9.95 well that's not the price slash no okay okay price slash was Nine ninety five is justifiable, just about, and I mean that it's too low, not too high. Nine ninety five for sterling silver, gold plated quality. I mean the quality. If I just hold the, the one part of it, look at the detail that's gone into this uh, this flower. I mean that is some serious quality to your jewelry that you're going to add. Sterling silver craftsmanship, gold plated finish, and yours for seven pounds ninety five. What a deal! What an impeccable deal! We're honouring a price slash. Previously sold at £9.95, we're honouring a price tag of £7. You are getting all three, so you're getting one, two, three of your interlinking floral clasps for £7.95. If you do want to join us, 0800 644 Right, got to move on. Let's move on to straight on to 95 sterling silver again we're not stopping this time we're going for the larger beads uh, with the larger holes now if you've got any of the wax cords today any of the satin cords and you want to start adding in a little bit of detail with sterling silver findings this is the one for you because the size of these internal holes are pretty exceptional you don't get many um, internal holes this big so if you do want to have them if you do want to have them within your kumahimos or your threads or your any of those kind of macrame-esque jewellery pieces these are the size of beads that you need to go for I'll just give you a profile on that as well so you can see them they are six millimeter in size 20 pieces in total and one price tag only one price tag 20 pieces don't forget 20 pieces of sterling silver. That's 20 pieces of sterling silver for 9.95. These are your feature findings, and unfortunately, this is a limited stock opportunity. Buy it while we've got it. Phone lines are busy, 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 and rightly so. You've got a real potential. And you know, you just need to add maybe two or three of those to a piece of jewelry uh, that perhaps a kumihimo or a, a nice macrame look, and you know that you've got something special in, in result. It's gonna be really rewarding. 9.95, moving straight on to uh, our floral actually they're like crowns these aren't they these are like a, they're somewhere between a bead cap uh, they're almost a bead cap but they're actually a spacer bead and I want to profile them Ben if I do this does that work for you um, how cute are they yeah. they're like little tiaras or crowns absolutely gorgeous they're like little crowns so you're getting five five of these for one price tag five of these sterling silver again so you've got that attention to detail classified as rope effect beaded uh, beads 
beaded beads yours for the taking please be prepared for these deals this what 5.95 You're almost denying all responsibility there, Pip, for that price tag. Literally, Pip's just gone, I didn't do that price. I didn't do that price. You actually have just done that price. It's live on television. It's there. It's there. There's the proof, Pip. You cannot deny this. You are sitting in the producer seat. You have to accept it. I can't see. I, it's got nothing to do with me my lord so five pounds 95 said that before now haven't i five pounds 95 is all you pay oh my not so distant past uh five i'm only joking five pounds 95 is all you pay congratulations on that straight on to these oh they're nice oh look at these charms now these are either very, very large charms, or you could classify these as pendants, to be honest, because the size is so significant. Have we got a size on them? 28.5 by 13.5, so heading towards three centimeter drop. Now can you see that they create almost uh, the, the the graining that has been created on the stone silver creates a holographic like finish but not only are they it is it grained but it's also convex so is it concave or convex convex is outside isn't it so it's concave concave is so it takes you right into the center there look at that they do look like almost like holographic don't they the way the light's catching on them beautiful and you're going to get three of these they are pendants they are oh i tell you what you've got a set don't forget these are sterling silver pair of earrings matching pendant job done and you got some chain earlier on today didn't you if you got the chain and now you've got all you need is literally chain and you've got yourself one pendant pair of earrings and you've got yourself a set sterling silver set don't forget these are the real deal if you want to join us it's a low stock offer again it's your feature findings all three pendants for one price tag now the price should have been 12 pounds 95 you're getting a lot of silver here a lot of silver your price tag should be 12.95 but we are honoring a price slash of 6.95 that's nearly half price on sterling silver now i want you to go to your sterling silver prices you know i check out your, your the market price on sterling silver i can promise you that it hasn't halved in price i can assure you that sterling silver has not halved in price over the past 10 years, Sterling Silver's pricing has, well, lots of people have talked about the price of gold. Actually, the price of silver is the one that's uh, gone up by the largest index in terms of, of price per gram. So at £6.95, the price of that, that's almost half price offer for all three pendants. So go, go, go. The phone lines are busy again. If you want to join us, it's a free phone number that you're dialing. That's three pendants for £6.95. Straight on. Now, we've already had the rose gold filigree design of a connector. How about we go to your sterling silver in the filigree? It's almost like a lattice work, isn't it? Beautiful lattice work, fantastic detail there. So sterling silver detail oval connector with two loops, 41 by 27 size. Very elegant. Add it with the pearls. Oh, oh! I feel like we've gone into Mr. Darcy's world. Why, Mr. Darcy? Hello. <laughs> Thank you for walking out of that pond all wet. <laughs> Am I the only one who went like that? <gasps> and then didn't breathe for about three seconds. <laughs> you must admit, I've never watched it. You've never watched Pride and Prejudice? Oh, I'll give no. you it. I'll give you it. I can let, right, but be prepared <laughs> that you will take that intake of breath when he comes, and I don't even fancy Mr. Darcy, but in that moment, as he walks out of the pond, he's walking out of the pond, I tell you, and he looks good. <laughs> if there's one person who can walk out of a pond, no disrespect to you, Ben. Okay. No disrespect, Pete. No, that's fine. Anybody who wants to walk out of a pond and try and look better than Mr. Darcy, it's going to be a tough act to follow. 
Glad I shared that with you. Um, we're in the wild of Pride and Prejudice right now. Add the pearls and you've got a classic piece of jewellery. And here's your a breathtaking sterling silver. Incredible quality. I mean, the luxury that you're getting with this detail. This is craftsmanship. And that's what the Victoriana era is about. That's what the Garland era is, you know, the Edwardian era. It's all about intricacy, the detail that was placed into every aspect of the jewellery. A vintage feel you're going to get from your jewellery by just adding something as breathtaking as a piece of connecting detail as this one 11 pounds 95 uh, queues on the lines please be patient we'll process your call as fast as we can where am i going to next let's go yep straight on looking at the time and we're pushing it we are pushing it Ooh! i tell you what we've gone we've gone from mr darcy walking out of a pond to john travolta walking onto the dance floor with a bit of ha 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 different effects i'd suggest but I don't mind admitting, I like a little bit of white pint action. You know, John in his tight white pants. Um, take a look. All the boys are going, ooh. Uh, take a look. You're only jealous, boys. You're only jealous. Just take a look. <laughs> uh, these amazing they do have a little bit of a disco ball effect though don't they they really are dazzling shimmering that's because they've been detailed you've got a crescent moon carved over the center like almost the trunk of the barrel and then you've got glitter stardust fin featuring to the shoulders to the sides as it truncates out so it's a really pretty detail that you're going to get to your jewelry and you know again you only need to use one or two of these and the impact is going to be quite evident to your jewelry lovely opportunity here you're getting 10 oh i've got one left 10 um of your sterling silver carved space of beads they're 10 by 6 mil Millimeter. yours for the taking I think they're, they're pretty heavy they feel yeah 10 for six pounds 95 we're not going to say no to that now are we each one of those less than 70 pence a pop and that's sterling silver not silver plated like you can get elsewhere at 60p you've got the real deal sterling silver for six pounds 95 congratulations less than seven pounds where should we go to next oh Oh, let's go for our magnetic clasp. Oh, and a lobster claw clasp. Oh, cool. Funky. Magnetic clasps, I think, are something of a bit of a revolution for many people. When it comes to jewellery making, we want life to be made easy as much as possible. We also want to think about the person who we're selling to or creating for, whether it's yourself or whether it's somebody else. I think one of the most important things to get right is the clasp. I have a mum who can wear the same necklace for weeks on end and then I'll suddenly go, why are you wearing that necklace still? And she'll go, oh, because I can't get the clasp undone. I have bracelets. Oh, the tedium of trying to get a bracelet on and off is very frustrating when you're using a, a little claw lobster claw clasp. For some people, it's fine. For others, it's a real struggle. Dexterity issues. One of the big solutions is magnetic clasps and that's what you've got here, this fantastic magnetic clasp. Watch this. Yeah sterling silver magnetic lock now you do get a lobster lock as well so you're getting both of these uh, together in one deal so there's your lobster claw and then you've got your magnetic clasp as well let me just show you again now just to highlight one thing and um, if you are making gifts or if you're selling your jewelry um, you need to make sure that um, as you sell your jewelry with a magnetic clasp anybody with a pacemaker cannot wear magnetic clasps so it's very important for you to know that if you are making jewelry for anybody else if they're with a pacemaker then they can't wear it with a magnetic clasp just good to know uh, yours sterling silver it's 925 it's not 9.5 although that's fair to say it's 92.5 percent pure silver but it's actually uh, 925 sterling silver magnetic lock with lobster clasp yours for the taking five pounds 95 and clasps like this make a difference, don't they, Sarah? Do you know why it comes with the extra lobster claw? Tell me why. So if you've got a standard necklace that you don't want to unstrand and you don't want to reclasp, that's got a standard clasp on it, 
you can use the lobster claw that's already on it to put one end one of the magnetic end on. on the, put the lobster claw on the other end round the bolt ring yes and now you have a magnetic necklace so you don't so even if you if you just want to upgrade your jewelry that you've yeah. already got yes. this is the way to do it it is and it's great for those dexterity problems but i love them because i'm i can't be doing with all that fiddly. fiddling and trying to do it in the mirror back to front is a nightmare and it's bracelets i struggle with and you say to you say to your you know darling other half could you just do and they look at you as if to say oh again yeah again? Oh, I'm uh -huh. the bracelet again yeah and actually it's for me because my husband works away i don't yeah, have somebody that. to say that so i've got a two-year-old and a five-year-old and they think that mommy has gone crazy if they thought the mommy could do, that she could do so actually i need to have something like that that's yes. really i either have pull on bracelets or i have you yeah. know that magnetic so clasps make a massive difference right then um now then very last Christmas cracker. We went and saved the best for last. <laughs> ah. Sorry. Um, <laughs> we have definitely saved the best for last. And I'm not talking about the presenter who's coming up shortly. I'm talking about this stand. Yes, the gorgeous head comes your way at five o'clock to bring you a miss it, miss out. We are bringing you here a strand of amethyst. Check it out, Sarah Elvin. Oh. You just said the magic word as far I as I'm concerned. I know I have. <laughs> Brand new opportunity here, amethyst. This is going to fly out. You cannot afford to miss out on this deal. Your amethyst irregular faceted medium nuggets, eight by five to 14 by nine millimeter. Huge, huge opportunity here. Really distinguished qualities. The colors are, well, they are just pure amethyst. If you asked somebody to describe this purple, they would say amethyst purple. And that's the thing is, is that actually, if you go back to many gemstones, they have created a color of their own, emerald green, ruby red, amethyst purple. This is it. This is the color of amethyst you want. This is the color that you look for. Cues on the lines already. People are showing interest on this one. They like the look of it and you're gonna love the price. It's a brand new strand, never been seen before. It's yours for £12.95. And take a look at how many gems you're getting, how many different variant opportunities you're gonna get from this one strand. It's a go, go, go. Don't hesitate on that free four number. Join us on the web if you prefer for £12.95. Of course, if you've already purchased from us today, you're adding to your order. It's £2.95 for our postage and packing for the whole day. That means you can purchase from first thing at nine o'clock in the morning all the way through till nine o'clock in the evening. An amazing deal for you to keep on purchasing and making the difference yours did you get the gold wire wow i mean if you're going to get of course let's not forget we've still got our star buy to fit in add in those star buy beads alongside that amethyst luxury items that's what you're going to be creating a magnificent opportunity there an amazing quality the quality of the amethyst is that it is exactly the color it should be it is amethyst purple but not only that it is the quality of the amethyst in terms of the luster which means of course we've had to cut the gemstone correctly and we've got to remember that the only aspect of genuine gemstones that we can actually have an impact on is is the cut of the gemstone we have nothing to do with the way we have nothing to do with the clarity that's all mother nature the only aspect we can influence is the cut of the gemstone and as you can see here you have got the cut absolutely to perfection because you've got that lovely high grade luster the reaction of light to the surface of the gemstone is quite astounding and put it against the, any color of, of, of metal work whether it is the silver look at that how well it works together put it with something like copper and it is a very versatile gemstone yours for 12 pounds 95 or 800 655 is the number to dial join us on the web at www.jurymaker.com don't forget you get your free tutorial booklet and dvd with your first order as well so if this is going to be your first piece i tell you what all you need to do is make a couple of stretchy bracelets i mean just that just that how much would you expect to pay for a full amethyst bracelet stretchy bracelets you cannot underestimate the costing of stretchy bracelets of quality amethyst. And here you've got the chance to make at least two or three feature bracelets for $12.95. Congratulations if you got that one. Right then, my presenter pick today, it's not small. It's not medium. It's not even large. It's extra large.
I haven't put anything like this to air. I would say at least this year. I have not hit. We're in the middle of November now, aren't we? We're we in the middle of November. What's the date today? A week into November. I know it's on countdown now, isn't it? We're on that slippery slide to Christmas. Oh, yeah. But if you think about the haul of this year and what Jewelry Maker has achieved, how many amazing things. We've won awards. Recently, we've won awards for being the best supplier of genuine gemstones. We, we've won awards for supplying you the best tools. We've won awards. Literally, we have, we've had an endorsement, literally industry standard endorsement for the quality of our gemstones. And this, this, is why. 550 carats sitting into this strand. I haven't this year seen anything of this size, anything of this size and this quality anywhere near this year, let alone the last couple of years. These are huge. These are massive, significant feature stones. Each one of these, let's have a look. Two, four, six, eight, nine individual pieces. It is a brand new opportunity. Now, you know how this is a presenter pick? And this is the time where I get to pick the price. Well, we have now, we've decided that. <laughs> When I say we, me, and uh, when I say I've decided the price tag, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to go lower. Lower. You know how you would standardly expect a strand like this to go for what? 12, exactly, that's the quality. Listen that, that's the quality you're looking at. You'd expect it to be what, 12 pounds? 15 pounds. So if I said it was going to go to less than 10 pounds, you'd be impressed, wouldn't you? If I said less than 10 pounds, you'd expect it to be 9.95. But actually, my presenter pick with my price tag, 5.95. <laughs> seriously, seriously, 5.95. All oh. hail me for just one second. <sighs> Five at night. See, I've been away. You, you didn't think that you'd missed us until this point, now did you? You were thinking, oh, it's quite peaceful without Vix around. Ah, oh, but you weren't getting those prices now, were you? £5.95. Oh, that means you're looking at 550 carats of genuine gemstones for less than £6. Go and try and find it anywhere else. Go and try and search anywhere that can deliver you. That means deliver and give you at the same time. Deliver you anything like this opportunity five pounds 95 for each one of these I mean you pay five ninety five for each one of them elsewhere I won't tell you how much some gemstones were on another place the other day <laughs> they weren't that price of course they weren't I can Look. tell you that much and they are amazing focal neckline pieces focal wrist pieces asymmetric pieces just looking for cut one here and loads of chain oh. on one of those do you know those jump rings you had those big yes big, the silver jump rings jump ring on this side yes to hanker all that chain onto oh amazing look at that absolutely amazing five pounds 95 keep that phone in your hand you got to be there otherwise you could lose out on that deal i can only honor that price tag for right now this is a live show it doesn't go on repeat so you've got to buy it now otherwise you could lose out altogether five pounds 95 is all you pay and of course we've set up perfectly the final deal of the show an amazing star buy deal and you know it sounds and it looks good. I've given you plenty of time to hear it. And I know I've been a lot of people going, Fix, what is it? What is the star buy? And now you see it. How about this? How about we do another spectacular sterling silver deal for you? But not just any kind of deal. How about we say to you, <sighs> okay, I'm just trying to work out whether I can, whether we'll get away with this. Yeah? Okay, Pip says let's go for it. Since I've just done, since I've just done 550 carats of featured gemstones for £5.95. Look at this, he's typed it in, he's gone and gone for it. Yes, it's there, you can see what it says. 
three mm. four two on your sterling silver spacer balls he's already gone and done it our oh, pip he says well anything you could do vix i give the presenter price as 5.95 so he says let's do it three four two gold plated 95 sterling silver spacer balls 40 pieces you are going to receive here so standardly we should be offering you this deal at 26 pounds and 85 pence but we're not going to do that are we you should be paying well over 26 pounds you've got it for 17 pounds and 95 i tell you what this is when star buys really are not just seeing but doing this is action speak louder than words no point in calling it a star buy unless it actually is a star buy and by jingo this is a serious star buy 17 pounds and 95 pence a three for two deal you should be paying over 26 pounds and you've got it for 17.95 three for two 40 pieces in total you're going to receive here and all of those and you know one of the, the nicest things about detail like this is, is that even though they are smaller the nicest thing about it is they make a huge impact to your jewelry especially if you've got that gorgeous garnet put the garnet alongside those gold spacer beads and you've got yourself some top grade jewelry sterling silver it's a precious metal you look in here at an exclusive piece of jewelry which you could pay literally hundreds of pounds for you could I mean you know garnet and, and sterling silver you know well Pieces of sterling silver, just look in the high street. You'll know, you'll know. You, you can pay a fortune. You can pay a fortune for something that looks like garnet that actually is simulated. Absolutely. And it does happen out there. I mean, you know, so, so many shops that have, you know, the burst gemstone range and the majority of those are similar synthetic yeah. and that's the hardest thing is is that you'll often find that they'll say garnet in the larger and then they go colored yes. <laughs> in tiny writing yeah. frustrating um as you can see here well sarah you have been festively busy <laughs> i know i went for a bit of a funky festive vibe that is really cool <laughs> deck the halls with bells all holy as soon as i saw the chain and the ribbon i kind of knew i wanted to, to to incorporate the ribbon and the chain together Oh, it's and then lovely. I just thought the hematite was festive as well, so go for it. It's really funky festive. I know, and because the ribbon is only temp well, it's, it's sewn through the gold chain, if at the end of Christmas you can undo it, break it down, and you've still got all your ribbon, and you've still got all your chain, and you're ready to go and make that into another piece of jewellery. That's perfect, isn't it? That's exactly what you need as yeah, well. That's is. exactly what you want, is that, that lovely, uh, almost sort of upcycling ability with your jewellery. I just went um, a bit, bit nuts with it, because I, I don't often it. get a chance just to pick what I want to do and go before it. So well, I think that's, 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 <laughs> we've definitely gone festive at the end yeah. of the show well of course we're going to keep on going festive with some more amazing deals coming your way in our miss it miss out show with a lovely ed i know he's got Ooh. something special <laughs> going on tonight so keep watching keep adding to your order i'll see you in the morning from nine o'clock so you take care of yourself loads of deals don't go anywhere thanks sarah you're welcome bye Join us on Jewelry Maker as we count down the days until Christmas. Stay tuned to see perfect Christmas gifts for all your 